Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and welcome back to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. If you'll give me just a moment to readjust my OBS settings over here. It has been a hot minute since I've played this game. I see Lorelei on chat already, who says, Hello, how have folks been? I have been very, very tired. If y'all didn't catch, the other day, we had a 24-hour live stream for charity, and it went phenomenally. Oh my goodness. Thankmas on the Camera with an X channel for Team Hippo Hype went phenomenally. Oh my god. Last year, when my buddy Lycos Lore and I did a little bit of the fundraising stuff. I think collectively our goal was about $500. I think we wound up hitting 280, I think. We were kind of well below and it was pretty good to get a little bit of stuff in there. But we were a little disappointed by it. I was like, ah, oh, we didn't reach our goal, whatever. Well, this year we set the goal at 200, reached it literally almost immediately and then raised it up to 500 and wound up raising almost, almost $1,000 for the World Central Kitchen as of me checking about an hour ago. Whoa. That was an interesting set of visual glitches there. Um, oh my god, it was absolutely amazing. I'm so I'm so touched by the the just the general donationness of other people and whatnot is pretty cool. I uh, I personally find that if we're gonna spend all this time playing video games on the internet and stuff like that, then we might as well do some good out of it. You managed the full day stream, huzzah! Absolutely, we did. We did indeed. And I just noticed chat did not show up on screen over here. Let me take a quick moment to see what might be going on there. Because uh, I did a little bit of changing and stuff earlier. Did I? Did I miss it? I'm going to do a test here. I see a chat there. Oh, but that didn't chat didn't show up. Hmm. This is interesting. Well, Lorelai says you managed a full day stream. Huzzah. Yes, indeed we did. And it was it was wild. All 24 hours of it. I was joined by uh, me, my buddy Glenn, Matt, Pepper, Eric, and my dearest Anna. And it was, it was, it was quite a, quite a joy. It was wonderful indeed. Well, hello. Mr. Mustache, we meet again. Indeed we do. Indeed we do. do. I don't remember what the voices for literally any of these characters are. Testing the screen thing. Oh, it's working now. Excellent. I don't know. I was having some weird chat troubles too the other day. Uh, my chat widget over here is provided by Streamlabs. So if anything is going wrong, uh, I blame Streamlabs. I do not blame myself. I do not blame myself for such things. Huzzah. Huzzah, 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 huzzah. But anyway, I'm getting back into it. If I recall, we are... In Glitzville. And we're gonna fight in the Glitz Pit. Mario's on to his WrestleMania craze now, and he's gonna go beat some people up. Hello there. Well, hello there, you big burly hunk of a man, you. You smashing deer. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion, Rock Hawk Tulu. All right. You, um, I respect you. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. There's a guy over there who gets paid to say that, right? Um, boy, is it hard to find a guy that clean, that clean cut and responsible these days? I saw it just thinking about him. Uh, who gets paid to do that? Is it you? Is it you, the pineapple-looking man? Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on nobody. Sorry, move it or lose it. What about you? Move to one side, small fry. The only thing my camera shoots is famous athletes, and you don't look like an athlete foot to me. <laughs> know what I'm saying? All right, apparently I wasn't supposed to go. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I go through these big old doors over here to go see what the fight's going on. Oh, my gosh. In which femtoads have terrible standards in men? Dude, seriously, though. What is up with these femtoads? They should have better taste in women or femtoads and stuff. Make things more interesting. What's going over here? I say in inquisitively as if I don't know what's already happening. Wow, this place is so cool. Hey, Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. That's right! Ugh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock! Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Stay down, pincushion! You don't want any more of this. Why'd you even show up? <laughs> yeah, you hear me talking, Wimpy. Stay out of the ring. Oh, feel the burn, baby! Feel the burn. Tell you what, do about a million push ups and then come see Uncle Rockhawk. You'll see it. I'll give you another world class spanking, and I'll send you crying home to mama. Again. Hoo wait, Champ, that was a great all whooping. Give your thoughts on the match? You call it a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can. You hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can make me even sweat. Nope, not any of them. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around in sticky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Because I'll hurt you. All right, that was a little meta there, Rockhog, don't you think? Yeah, a number one baby. Uh, Rockhawk is the champion. 
what a what an absolute champ. Blair Anderson is crystal star and everything. Um, you see that, Mario? I think all that shiny belt. Is that a crystal star? No. Or maybe it is. Yeah, it's gotta be. That sparkles like a crystal star. Um, but that doesn't make much sense at all. Why would it be on that guy's belt? I don't know! Let's follow the plot and find out. Huh, anyways. Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we could just steal that guy's belt. <laughs> or can we? What, what should we what should be our move here? <laughs> How about we steal it? Uh, listen, Mario, I think the world of you, but really, we, we can't do that. Uh, it, it would be right. Uh, the way I see it, we have no choice. Ellipses, you gotta fight your way to the top. With that belt, fair and square! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. So I guess we better get started. There must be a novice side up somewhere. Uh, my tummy's getting upset. Let's find the guy in charge before I lose my nerve. Seriously, though. Lorelai says, to be fair, if toads are a fungus, there are a lot more genders available to them than we can tell. Well, that is an excellent point there. Fungi are one of those things where gender is not binary, just like humans. Wink. Good stuff. We make hot takes on this show. Although the most of the takes are not actually that hot, and if you feel that these takes are too hot, then you might be in the wrong place. In which case, that's okay. It was nice knowing you, but peace out. Alright, I, my tummy's rumbling, uh, apparently, says Coops, so I gotta find- I know there's an egg over here somewhere. Who's the guy in charge? Who would I talk about getting into the fight over here? Um, you? No, most definitely not you. Um, I recall there's being something about this fresh juice stand over here. Oh, look at this! Uh. Oh, wait, no, no, I can't do that yet. I have to have Yoshi's ground pound ability, I think. Oh, just kidding, I can do this. Oh, whack, whack, whack! Nope. Someone took Battle Block Theater to too much heart. The buckle has too much power. <laughs> oh my god. I need it. Hey, would you look at that? Egg comes later. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I appreciate Nerdcromancer coming in here to remind me of such things. It's been the hottest of minutes since I've played a game like this. And by hottest of minutes, it's... A Actually, come to think of it, it has been... The last time I played this game was in my old apartment. I just haven't played it since then. Oh, maybe I've just been too afraid. Digging the character voices, such otter nonsense over here. Thank you so much, such otter nonsense. Although the things that most... I'm gonna try to think out this next statement carefully. The thing that is most otterly nonsensical is the voices that I wind up making. It gets worse, I promise. All right, well, better Mario voice than Chris Pratt. Dude, I'm trying my best this over here. Let's go. I don't know, you know what? I gotta, I gotta respect the take that they made, you know? I, I dig it, I dig it. Oh my god, I just remember what I do for... I forgot what I do for bits around here. Thank you, such out of nonsense, for reminding me. I have a working party horn in here somewhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And here it is. Thank you. <laughs> it gets so much worse. All right, who's in charge here? You look like you're in charge. Monsieur, Monsieur Mastace, you also come to this place, huh? Right now, I am crazy over the ravishing creatures here. Keep your hands off. I'm sorry, are you referring to the femtoad with the comb over, uh, the very elderly looking Koopa man, this dude over here who might be a Yoshi, or this Lakitu, or the cloud that he's riding? Or perhaps you're referring to the red-headed plumber, or perhaps this nerdy looking fellow over here. Which one is it? Please, your honesty. Um, you look ravishing, I'll talk to you first. Huh. Uh, welcome. Our doors are always open for thirsty fight fans. So we'll grab a frosty juice, take a load off, enjoy. You're not in charge around here. What about you? That fabulous mustache. I've seen it somewhere before I know it. Yes, Mario, that is definitely a name I've heard somewhere before. Where? <laughs> LMAO, is there a minimum bits of the party horn? Nope, every single time. You could drop bits in here ten times in a row and I'd blow it five different times over. Although, I'm not going to go for the one... If you want me to take the one that I just spit onto the floor, that's going to be at least ten. I'll, I'll make a hard cap there. What about y'all, you folks? Who's in charge? You? Uh, you don't look very familiar. Uh, you on vacation? Me? No, just a lackey who digs on combat sports, dude. Nice meeting you. You're so welcome. Nice to meet you as well. And you? Today's main event will rule. I'm betting on Rock Hawk, no matter who's finding him. That seems a little biased, don't you think? Well, I says I heard they were doing the acting blind nonsense again, so I feel bad pointing out the takes we've heard from Chris Pratt, from Pratt. Studio spoiler phobia is dumb. No, seriously though. I mean, I gotta. Oh, twenty. Oh, there we go. That was a good one. That was a good one. Much appreciation for that. 
the, those bits are going straight back into the stream because I spent a lot of money on that thankless thing and I'm <laughs> I started doing budgeting for my stream stuff now <laughs> and I realized that I indebted myself to my own stream I think in total on Twitch so far I have made about $300 in payouts over the past two years, mind you that. It's not a lot of money. I get paid much more for my job. And so I was like, okay, for everything that I do for the stream, I am going to take it out of the stream budget. And I spent about $400 on Thankfist just to get new cables and buy ingredients and buy food and stuff. So I'm currently indebted to myself. But when you think about it, money is money doesn't matter. So I'm just going to forgive myself and uh, say I don't owe myself anything. That, or perhaps I'll turn myself around completely and say, uh, 200% interest, you now owe me $400. In which case, well, I better keep working. So close to making me exercise. Do it for fun, not for the money. No, we do it for fun, not for the money. No, no, this, I have a full-time job. I don't do this for the money. I will, I will admit, though, if this thing winds up paying the bills one day, I feel like I'd have a lot more fun with it. Overall, I love the challenge that my job brings me, but, dude, startup life is it's, it's freaking stressful. And uh, stream life, not that stressful. Let me tell you, fans like fun is the grand standard bit that drives us nuts. Yeah, it does. And you? You ever watch Man of League fights? I do. You sometimes find diamonds in that rough. <laughs> Am I a diamond in the rough? Dude, the frames over here. My god. Sounds like a net positive to me. Yeah, I've got a smile on my face, so all things are great. I will also say, too, I applied for a new credit card recently, uh, the Amazon Prime one, and I got $200 of a gift card balance, so that covered the cost of most of the cables. So, technically... I'm not in debt to myself, but alas. All right, where, where are the signups? I, I, uh, I've been digressing too much. Can I fight? Well, that might be about to become fighter. Uh, hmm, well, if you're serious, you better go beat with Mr. Grubb, the promoter. Mr. Grubb's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Hmm? Head on through. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I'll go talk to this Grubba fella and see what it's all about. I bet he's a boy howdy kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, Can I go in here? Well, this is a minor lady locker room, bud. Sorry, can't go in there. Alrighty then. How about here? Can I go in here? I'm sorry, I thought it was only but no one else is admitted. Alright. These guys all have the same voice. This is the major league rock room, bub. So can't go in there. Jeez, I am just everywhere. I'll save. This game is stuttering enough. It one if it winds up killing itself on me, I will not be happy. My god, for the life of me, do not touch the memory card in slot A. There is no memory card. I'm emulating. Oh, heck yeah, we love free supplies. Indeed, Foghorn Leghorn can't steer us wrong. No, he cannot. <laughs> Oh, he's talking there, child, walking around like a chicken without a set. Oh, wait a minute. Is the only Foghorn Leghorn reference I have, and I'm pretty sure that bit was done on Family Guy. Oh, uh, sorry, Champions Room. Only the Champion may answer. Sorry, regulations. Is my boy Rock in there? Boy. Let me in there. A locked door. How about you? What's that? Well, do you want to be a fighter, bub? Well, well, all right. Well, go on in. Mr. Grubb is just inside. No, but, like, there's an entire other hallway to go through, Right? Right? This is the major league locker. Oh, I was I was already looking at that. Skittles block. Skittles? Oh, I got Skittles on top of my freezer, actually. I just remembered they were there. Rock not being spelled rock makes me wonder if it's meant to be as rock, which is a massive myth bird. That makes sense. Now, how in tarnation are you, son? Who lets you in? This is Grubba's office. Yeah, that's me. I'm Grubba. <laughs> and you're the rude old dude coming in with that. I'm knocking. Um, I wasn't trying to be rude. <laughs> hi -oh. What now, Nathalie? Huh? You want to be a fighter? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh, wait. That dude does take a thing or two, so I always come up for another up and comer. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, this place is packed with the gills with young fattens all primed and rare to go. I gotta say, son, you're a little bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now, let me straight, son. You want to live the grandmother's life of the chair now, don't you? <laughs> Darn skippy, I do. <laughs> well, all right. All right, all right, son. Uh, I hear where you're coming from, so I'm loud and clear. Loud and clear. Let me just scoot on over to the other side of my desk over here. Get a quick old look at you. I'm going to size you up a little bit with my eyes. Don't worry about it. This is just the process I do for everybody. When I was just a young, poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's pet toot for fancy and big city ways. Nah, but I just jumped into the world and martial arts and fell out my way to fame and riches. And you know what I realized? Being rich and famous? It's digging a dang dynamite. Let me tell you, I love having money in my pocket so much that I can spend it whatever I want to. It's wonderful. I'm going to size you up from the right-hand side now. Mm, look at them glutes. Love that. Now, I can't mix it up in a ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You reading me here, son? Dreams do come true. Even if they ain't yours. Ha <laughs> ha, exactly. <laughs> Look at me now. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big. You'll get it big. That's the winner's way. <laughs> Just like big old over here. And when you make it big, you look back at all those small dreamers and you laugh. Ha! <laughs> fuck you all. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. That was rude. We don't do rudeness in my office over here. You read me here, son? You make any cuss words in my office and I will deck you. Ooh, 
Oh, not. <laughs> well. A message being chief. Uh, here, let's have us a little walk and talk. Come on now. Follow me down my hallway. I got a good enough look at you. And your little turtle shell over here, too. Mmm. We can't be rude, sir. We're a plumber. Cam going fast enough for an auctioneer. Let me tell you, I'd love to be an announcer. I think I got the cut, the, 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 the giblets for it. The giblets? Yeah, the giblets. Wow, sir, is this my room? Answer my question. Now, how do you like this, par? Just feast your eyes. Go on. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe, you become champ son and you get the key to this room. And you get that big old gold Game Boy over there. But you didn't hear it from me, nor Nintendo, or anybody else. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Plan yourself in life of wealth and comfort awaits. <laughs> now, that's all I got for you. What is... Woo, that was interesting. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> here we have the Major League Locker Room. A lot of contenders over here. That dude with the spike, that dude with the spike, that dude with the blue shell, and that dude with the helmet because of the dudes with the two and the spikes. What you think, son? Huh? huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and it's comfortable. It's got that pink Game Boy over there. Some would call it a Game Girl, but we don't identify genders around here. It just feels weird for electronics. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe an old, a little old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters now, darn it. Now, yes, I do. Which is why I gave them the red diamond flooring as opposed to the gray diamond flooring that I keep in my room. It's a lot more expressive. Makes the fighters feel a little more at home. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't but one world champion. Clawing your way to the top and taking the belt to become champion ain't an easy thing at all, ellipses, star little shaky thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there weren't no challenge. Not at all. Oh, exercises? Do some fire hydrants. I don't even remember what that is. Reasons to not bring Madame Flurry in public. Rudeness. Oh my goodness, the rudeness. I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do me some fire hydrants over here. Please don't mind my plaid pants. It's kind of like pissing on a fire hydrant like you were as a dog. I'm gonna do a couple to the left hand side first. And we keep on going. And Cal can't see, you got the fire for a two part. You got the eye of the tiger over here. Let me take my microphone up here so everybody can still hear this beautiful, beautiful narration of mine. Oh goodness, you're gonna be a champ, son. I can feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter in my entire existence, exclamation. Oh hey, one other thing. You gotta sign an it'd be the country to be fire. It ain't no big thing. Ain't no big thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Just put your name here, okay? <laughs> uh, sign me up! You signed the contract, you fool. I'm gonna do a couple of fire hydrants to the right-hand side. Here we go. Uh, best thing you ever done, Nunso. Now you're, uh, Mario. <laughs> ain't a bad handle. Uh, nah. Still, I gotta say, Pard, uh, it lacks a little bit of a punch as a fighter's name. You know what I'm saying? How about something like Tiger Fighter? Uh, let me see here. Uh, bam! <laughs> Wee, I got it. From now on, you're gonna be called the Great Gonzalez. Who ain't that a beaut? Dang it, if that ain't a stroke of genius, a name that good comes around once in a lifetime and definitely doesn't seem to be a reference to anything in particular. Who really knows? When I was a young boy, I used to pronounce that the Great Gonzales because I didn't take Spanish class yet. Oh my goodness. Me if everyone will soon bow before the Great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. I'm, I'm eyeballing you still. I hope you don't mind, but the longer you stay in my office, the more you're gonna get it. It's in the contract, you see. Delicious. Well, now that we gotta get the business out of the way. Jolene! Jolene! Come on in here, girl! Could you come in here, my dear darling? Please. <laughs> and so Mario became a magical girl. I'm a little beautiful! <laughs> yes, I am! <laughs> Woohoo! Transform! Uh, Why, well, yes, sir. You wish to see me? I sure did, huh? Jolene, this is the great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him on down to the minor league room. Alrighty? Wink. Right away, sir. Hey, you're the dude with the co you're the fem toad with the comb over. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. Maybe I should wear my own glasses when she speaks. It just just feels right. <laughs> please follow me, Mr. Mario. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Gravis says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. It's kind of a deal with the devil type thing, but you know what they say. The devil's in the details. Ha 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 ha. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. <laughs> uh, Jolene, I heard a song about here, and it went something like, Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Please don't take my Mario away from me. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. Ain't it a beauty? And it's got that purple Game Boy over on the wall over there. We must acknowledge it. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, well, I suggest you work your way up to the ranks. Oh, I thought we were going to flick. Oh, there it is. When you're ready to fact, just log on to this computer terminal over here. Definitely not a Game Boy invented by Nintendo. 
Mr. Grubble will then decide who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with the... Uh -huh. Then pick Reserve a Match. Why don't you give it a try, Mario? I don't know what Mr. Grubba sees in you. You're kind of kind of a little too thick for my tastes. Welcome to the automated match reservation system. What is your command? <laughs> I want to reserve a match, boys. <laughs> well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fists dirty? Oh, there you go, son. <laughs> I got a treat for you. Your first battle is going to be against the Goomba Brothers. <laughs> totally not a reference. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just pop them up, okay, son? Hey. We want to get everybody fired up, though, so appeal to the ground at least once. And if you don't do that, I'm going to spank you. Not for your benefit, but for mine. You know what I'm saying? You got any questions about the details rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene. Okay, son, I'd appreciate that. Well, good on luck there, partner. yee -hoo! Okay, your battle's reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to O first wins. Quite simple. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply cleaning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba says fight, sets fight conditions, follow them, please. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the major league. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. Oh, I was waiting for it there. Blueberry is a classic. The blueberry color of the, the Game Boy, absolutely. Too thick for her, too thin for him. Mario just came to win. <laughs> Everybody hates me. Not even the princess will, will stick around for any longer than a cynical video game. It's actually quite a disappointing. Uh, Gonzalez, but, but what was your voice again? G Gonzalez, uh, match time. Uh, follow me, bud. There are those that will all be the same for the amount of time it takes for me to remember. Oh, hi, Jolene. Okay, security's here. Uh, let's, 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 let's get you to the, the ring. Uh, try not to get completely destroyed out there. Uh, uh. All right, I'm gonna do the thing anyway. I, I've, I don't know when to expect these little like glasses flicks here. All right, onward then. <laughs> let's go beat somebody up. Tonight on the WrestleMania, <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass kicked. <laughs> Woohoo! Anyway, please excuse all the frame droppage over here. My computer is suffering, and I'm emulating this because my GameCube is in the corner. I just, I just, by this point, I'm already too far into it. Square it off next, folks, are the Hoppin' Hardheads, the Goomba Brothers, and a newcomer with a hankering for a hammer and the great Gonzalez. The Goomba Brothers have been waiting to get it all heat up for the fight, so let's check in. How y'all doing? How do, Goomba Boos? How are you feeling today? You ready for this fight? <laughs> are you kidding me, man? We're always ready to bark a fool, too. <laughs> who is this Gonzalez Ruby? A cocky idiot, that's who. Wanting just to make us mad. <laughs> We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you want to call an ambulance for him now, just to save time later. <laughs> Scuff! Oh, here he comes now! <laughs> Hot diggity dang, fight fans! There's a great Gonzalez now stratting on up here! How does he know we use hammers? This guy has been doing his research. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up late like he owns the place. <laughs> okay, now Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick, Slack. Like. Have a bonk, punk! Mario just gets all the disrespect. Oh! Ugh. Oh, I couldn't do it. I peed on the crowd at least once. That's not fair, you can attack me before the bell rings, that's cheating! Come on, Mario, we can't let a bunch of cheaters beat us. Let's take them down. Ha, <laughs> quit cry, will you? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. <laughs> Where's our thank you? Not here. You will not receive a thank from me. How about special? Let's, uh, let's appeal. Let's say hi to everybody. That was great. And now let's, let's do that thing we love so much. I don't remember any of the style ways for this so we're gonna refigure them all out it's been like two months one a two a three oh get him <laughs> will i be held responsible for a massacre i should hope not the <laughs> great gonzalez wins tell me son what was this first taste of victory like <laughs> A death of battle was savage, but a good thing I'm savager. <laughs> was that the hit with, with the crowd? Do you love me yet? 
Uh, listen, sir, I I'll tell you what. I, I just I just saw folks uh, uh, a whooping. Yeah, yeah, they were they were whooping. This, this kid's got skills. This, this kid here. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah. Uh, the green gonzos or something. Uh, get out of here. Hey. Yeah, for the great gonzos. Uh, Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Gonzalez. Arrivederci. Something in Italian. Gonzalez shall be known for being the eye candy while Coopster does all the hard work. My, seriously, though. Mario's out there pleasing the niche crowd. And the niche crowd, they'll rise up one day. Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters gotta play to the crowd. You know, pump them up more. I'm hoping you'll give me more razzle-dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other. I, I appeal to the crowd at least once, you dummy. I'm good, I'll be on my way then. And Miss Jolene here, I'll give you your fight money. Uh, see ya. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Coin. I got three coins. I rose rank 19. The next fight will not be set up until you select reserve a match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. Whatever you like, except sneak into the champion's room. That's illegal. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. <laughs> I know you. Have a nice day. No, you. Got him. Yo, Rook! How was your first fight, dog? I'm King K, man. Just a bush league scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so uh, why didn't you meet the gang, huh? This guy is Miss Master M M M M Crash. Nice to meet you, Palm. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I'll give you advice. Bomb! As Miss Jolene was saying, you better bomb obeying Mr. Grubba's conditions. If you clear the conditions and win, you get to fight higher rank foes. Bomb! If you can't clear all of them, you bomb end up battling a lower rank fighter. Bomb! You can't climb the bomb ranks fighting the bottom of the barrel. Bomb! Bomb! Yeah, my man's got, you know, some speech issues, but he's got good advice sometimes. He really means well. Not just sometimes, Bomb. Advice is always useful, Bomb. Bomb. It's giving me the reflux there. <clears throat> right, man. Whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm not here too often, but uh, if you see me around, uh, what, did, what did you say? Hi. Oh yeah. Uh, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like a cushy bed in the chance room though. <laughs> but but it doesn't refill star power. <laughs> cool, and this last game is with the sweet purple cakes is known as Cleftor. Blah, Cleftor no like mate. We have friend with mustache. He's in there, Cleftor. Dude ain't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the Coer Major Lug Major <laughs> Major Lugies there, man. That's the minor league crew, man. You need something else? Ask us. Oh yeah, uh, I almost forgot. You and me gotta eventually square off, so uh good luck, man. You got it, dude. Somewhere in the distance, says Lorelai, Donkey Kong senses a disturbance in the force. Lorelai says, also, I think that bomb, he, is a Jack Frost in disguise. Maybe. <laughs> I'm Mr. Bombmeister. I'm Mr. Splode. I'm Mr. Sphere Glisten. I'm Mr. Also Explode. <laughs> Love. I, I hope the miser you were making a reference to was that. Jack Frost. Oh well, I guess that's technically Frost Miser, but I think that I think that reference tracks. Uh, I forgot you could do that. <laughs> I want out. <laughs> I want out. You got any items in there? Hey, Randy, Andy, or something. You got anything in there? Alas, Persona and SMT. Yeah, I see. I see. <laughs> I do. I do believe I'll go out for my regular stroll soon. <laughs> All right. Good for you, pal. Are there any items in this closet? That's what I'm really looking for. They have a he tick he ho. Oh, I see, I see. I don't quite remember that. It's been a hot minute since I've played, um, since I've played first, per whoa, Persona and or Shin Megami Tensei. It's been a hot, hot minute indeed. Those are like my high school days. One day I'll go back. I'll always come back one day. All right, let's do it again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to fight people again. Take a sip of my well-deserved cocktail. Been, I've been rewarding myself. This, this is a reward Cameron kind of week. That thank stream was a lot of effort. Um, I also forgot to mention as well, for those of you who may be in Twitch chat, you will notice that there is a donation bar at the top of the chat there. Um, because charity is really, really cool, 
I'm just going to keep that fundraiser up until the end of the year. Um, if you donate, I will blow up a balloon and pop it for you. Um, it's a gimmick to get people to donate money to the World Central Kitchen. And it works. It certainly worked the other day. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Mm, your next opponent will be... Ranked 18 in the Glitz Pit, the KP Coopers. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid switching partners out. Don't do it, don't do it. Keep that little scruffy, bandaged-nosed Koopa thing with you. I gotta go with the who brung you. That fight to the end, side by side. Now that's drama. Now get in there and stand by your pard. Get on there. Hey, dog, looks like your next match is against me. Good luck, man, to the both of us. All right, pal. Oof. At some point in time, I really wish I could kind of follow some voice acting lessons and stuff like that, because I get do a number on my voice with these kind of things. And I love doing it, but I just don't know how to do it properly. Not yet. That'll come with experience and whatnot. I think the general rule when you're trying to do voices and stuff, from what I've seen like from folks on the internet, is that if your voice is hurting, just take a break. Just just stop. And so if I wind up stopping, it's because I'm a novice at a lot of things, so uh, please forgive me. For our next battle, we got the merciless execution of the Great Gonzalez and Ellipses, the Shell Machines of Doom. Yep, yeah, a fight to the finish with the KP Opus. Um, okay, um, we can do this. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez! I told you we were gonna square off, and now it's on! <laughs> Get yourselves ready to battle! <laughs> I like to think that he does a little tongue flip thing. He just. Grubba just strikes me as that kind of individual. Changing your partners will kill you. Maybe. Who really knows, honestly? Um, Mario's gonna hit him with the... Gonna get him with the spin jump. You. Nice. That was excellent. You gotta love those style points and stuff. Yeah, don't strain yourself is common advice. And preach of the benefits of tea that's good for throats. Dude, the other day, I had this wonderful orange spice... Um, I think it was Mandarin orange spice um, tea at uh, a diner back in my hometown and I put a little bit of honey in it and I put a little bit of lemon in it and it was just wonderful. It really, really hit the spot. I, I gotta say there, it was wonderful. Um, I don't remember what the brand was. I Usually I take down the brands of these things because I really like tea. Wow, that was unlucky. Wow. I'll take it. Bye-bye, KP. He's like, no, please, why, my brothers? He doesn't get it. Um, but yeah, it was absolutely lovely. I didn't catch the brand of the tea. It was like a black tea pouch, I remember, and it had some nice cursive writing on the back of it. It was really, really tasty. And I think it was the fact that I don't usually put lemon or honey in my tea, but this time I just wanted a little bit of extra sweetness and stuff, and I dig it. <laughs> we got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez over here, with a little bit of assistance from Divine Judgment over here. It seemed that God just had it out for the turtles this time. But alas, that's the fighting business, don't you know? <laughs> we did it, Mario. Wow. <laughs> we did it. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Four. Four is the color. Four, four is the number. I rose to 18. Yay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. I say taking my glasses and doing that thing every single time. How'd it go for you? How, was it as good as for you as it was for me? Hey, way to head out of beat out there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ouch. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about the lights that just, just decked me. Do I want to take a rest? I do. Four is the color for Synthesia. Fruit Tea Bat coming in here are the rate party of nine. Hello, Fruit Tea Bat. Fruit Tea Bat is out there playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Please, please go out and drop a follow. I have finally gotten my shout-out thing working now. I'm trying to make it... Trying to make it automated, but I haven't quite gotten it yet. But for those who pop in, it is absolutely necessary. Go for it. Please drop Fruit Tea Bat a follow. They are absolutely wonderful with what they do. A very pleasant dream to lurk in. I am a bit of a lurker myself, so my presence usually goes unnoticed. But game went great for her. Oh, absolutely. Glad to hear it, Haruto. Love to see that as well. Who was I fighting next over here? I don't even remember. Six shinies. All right. I don't know what it is about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but it seems that Shinies are just getting easier and easier to get. And I have I have absolutely no problem with that. Personally, for the people out there who just... I, I love the things with different colors. And if you're going to make it easier for me, all I want is more from that. I do. Oh boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fix it for a fight, huh? 
Yeah? Well, alrighty then, let me just see here. Your next opponent is gonna be ranked 17 in the Glitz Pit, the Pokey Triplets. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to appeal to the crowd at least one time, okay? And maybe a little bit more for the folks at home. These fans eat that stuff up. A little grandstanding from their hero ain't gonna go nuts. Now get in there and get them riled up, son. Absolutely, we'll try our bestest. I love that. We'll wait on that there. LMAO, Haruna's just been throwing shinies. I haven't found a single one. Oh, she didn't get it herself. Well, that's the beautiful kindness of the individual. I love that. Shiny hunting, I believe, has gotten easier. But aside from that, friendship will always stay just as easy or as difficult as it was before, which I think is a good thing. Hope Paper Mara has been a blast. Gonna go make Din Din. Will be a lurking. Wonderful, wonderful. And I hope the Din Din is well worth it. I don't know how long you were streaming for, but I know, at least for me, streaming for anything longer than a couple hours or so makes me very, very peckish. Although, usually I wind up going to bed after this. It's a little late for me. Let's get on out there. All right. Haru spends all their time shiny hunting. Dude, that must be quite, quite the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Quite the engagement there. I, for one, have never been able to get into shiny hunting. It's just like, I think I tried one time to like reset my game a bunch of times to get a shiny starter. And I did. But, um, I don't know where that game file went. And uh, it didn't last very long on me. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, for our next battle, we got the Merciless Execution of the Great Gonzalez and the Spike Terra Triplets. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Pokey Triplets. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. <laughs> go, go ahead, touch us. It won't hurt too much. <laughs> get yourselves ready to battle! Go on, get him over there. Oh my goodness. One day I'll find a shiny in my crew. Actually, one day I want to get a Switch one day, and I want to get Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Or Pokemon Sword and Shield. If I had to pick, if I had to pick between Sword and or Shield, or Scarlet and or Violet, which one should I go for? I'm genuinely curious about that because like I've heard, I've heard good things about, I've heard a lot of bad things about Scarlet and Violet, but I want to have a little more faith in it. And I heard amazing things about Sword and Shield. Violet is the best, undeniably so. Violet must be the one on top. And I think that's the one my younger, my younger brother just got um, Pokemon Violet recently, I believe. And he was saying it's very, very fun. He's a, he's a big, big fan. Oh my goodness, that was so difficult. Wow. Such difficult battles. I have no way. Six star points. Got it. The professor for Pokemon Violet is literally the, <laughs> the Giga Chat. Oh, I remember it. I don't remember the names of them, but I definitely had the image in my head of this guy. I love that. Isn't there like a gym leader out there too who's just like a normal businessman who just doesn't want to be a gym leader? The internet is just like completely going crazy over this guy. We got ourselves a winner over here. The Great Gonzalez coming up here in fast. Professor Turo. We did it, Mario. Oh, wow. We darn did did it. Yes, indeed, we did. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Here come my glasses. Four coins. It's good. Mario's ranking rose. Excellent. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Little tap on my face of that thing. Maybe I should just keep, like, I'm not using these glasses to see, so maybe I should just put them on my head. There we go. The normal type gym leader, who is also the flying type elite four member, is just a regular dude in a suit. Oh my god, he plays double? This guy overworks. Somebody help this man out. Hey, what's cracking, G-Man? Oh no, just kidding, it's this dude. He just finished beating down some poor fools or what? You're looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your look, man. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you! H who is it? Oh. Oh, welcome back, Bandy, Andy, Andy, Bandy, Andy. How many times do I have to tell you that room is absolutely off limits? If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that too. It's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the glitz pit. Understood? Uh, ooh. Gotta love that. Andy, what have you been doing? Get dude, man! You're just a magnet for trouble. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, KK. I didn't mean to bring Queen Nag in here. Sweat it, B-Money. Julian can take that too and shove it up her nose. If she has one. Why are you always chasing that girl anyway, man? You got a little thing for her? Shut up, Kay. No, if, if you folks will pardon me, I, I must be off. Uh, bye, dude. Um, gonna go creep on Jolene again? I would not be surprised. So he does like being a part of the poke madness or not? Hmm, says Lorelai. He doesn't want to do either of them. I feel so bad for the salary, man. Dude. The salary men in general, I've heard terrible, terrible things about the just work to the bone culture. It's, I, for what, there was a point in my life where I was like, yeah, I could do that. And maybe I want to do that. If the, if the money's good and I can support my family, absolutely. Um, nah, I'm a reformed man now. I'm not about that stuff. I need, I need breaks and chill in my life, which is why I started streaming and I kept doing it.
Streaming has given me, I actually, my stream times are actually on my work calendar, and it is a time when people do not bother. Not that they, not that they would anyways, but this is, this is my time. This is my time to absolutely chill and chillax, which technically should be the case anywhere beyond the nine to five, depending on your philosophy and stuff. I, I got coworkers overseas, so I can't, I, I can't, I don't, I don't really stay off of the line all the time, um, because you never know what might happen. Oh boy, howdy, gallas. Uh, hey, man, fix it for a fight. Yeah, yeah, you know the thing. Uh, alrighty then. Let me just see right here. Your next opponent is going to be ranked 18, the Poke Triplets. Again? Oh, I didn't appeal during the fight. I forgot to. Oh, that was it. I got to do something about flower points. Oh, I completely missed that. <sighs> he probably ends up losing money, the salary man. He pays 12k for every time he be- My god, 12,000 Pokey? Oh my goodness. Dude doesn't get paid enough. All right. Let's do this the right way this time. I was so distracted by all the good, good Pokemon Scarlet Violet talk. I'll get it eventually. All right, all right, let's let's get into it. I don't think you can skip these scenes. Can you? Nah, you apparently cannot. For an expanded one, one of great Gonzalo's and the problem is the Poker Triplets and whatnot. Poker Triplets over here. Oh, can we do this? Uh, yeah, we can. Yeah. Get yourselves ready to battle. Go get them. But v po Whoa, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are so sad. Oh, is it the story? Is the story good? Sad and good? I think I recall... I don't remember which Pokemon story I was most into. And I missed what the thing was. What was the thing? I don't remember. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. It was either do use flower points or don't use flower points. And I'm gonna guess it was don't. That's my guess. I'm going to guess it had nothing to do with the flower points. I'm hoping that's the case. And if I'm wrong, then whatever. We will go for it. That's what it's going to be all about. Yeah, I imagine that there's probably a lot of good story to um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and whatnot. I mean, just knowing here, apparently that his boss is the... What? Salaryman's boss is the champion. Such an, such an intermingled thing. Who knew that all the gym leaders were all like in cahoots with each other? And apparently doing overtime. I wonder, if, I wonder if the whole, like, working yourself to the bone is just a common theme in Scarlet and Violet. In which case, I guess that's what it- I guess that's the grandeur of being a Pokemon- a, a Pokemon trainer, right? You get to go out there and enjoy it, I guess. Really enjoy the plans of the Pokemon, it's not just about- not just a job. Things to consider. I'm normally stone-faced, says Haruto, when it comes to the games, but they cried at the end of Violet. Oh, that's actually quite sweet. I would consider myself, for the most part, a rather stone-faced individual as well, but that's because of some trauma from my past, and I'm getting past it. I have been able to tr cry at things that are emotionally, and I think that deserves some snaps. It's good, though. It's nice to have a release of that every once in a while. I used to feel really bad about crying, but now I'm just like, yeah, crying's great. And the winner... I hope I did that right. We won cool. Did I, did I do the thing? Did I do the thing correctly? I hope I did. Fight money? Okay. Did I go up in rank? I received. Defense is rank at 17. I definitely did not do it. Very sad. I don't feel excuse. Okay, I gotta pay attention this time. What did I do? Haruna's release normally ends up being bursts of anger. That that used to be my st actually that still kinda is my thing for a while. I'm trying to work on that a little bit. My burst of anger used to I when I was younger, when I had access to a forest of trees and stuff, I would take the my uh, an axe out to the woods and chop down trees with it. Um I'm not as buff as I used to be, so it didn't didn't wouldn't work that way. Rank 16. Oh, I am fighting somebody different. Now listen, son, this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them flower. Avoid using any of the flower points. If I see you do anything flowersome out there, I'm gonna whoop your ass and pinch it too. Know what I'm saying? Mario. Get on out there and get him a show. So I'm hearing is, bro needs a union. <laughs> bro needs a union. Overworked indeed. Pokemon workers out there. Gonzalez, it's match time. Follow me, bud. All right, let's do it. No flower points. Oh, I did not heal. It can't be that bad. These are not the difficult fights. It gets it gets worse out there, but not this time around. Hmm. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, as always, and the Bone Banging Rockers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the dead bones. Get on out there! We're gonna take the skin off your bones. <laughs> Get yourselves ready to battle! Go get them, guys! Everything's controlled by the champion in this game? Even the school? Naranja Academy? Don't use my fupa. Don't use my fippy. My fippity fippity dippity do. I'm gonna bounce on you. Is it gonna work? Heck yeah. And that's all it took. 
Go get him. Nice. Is he the one who does the hello fellow kids thing? <laughs> That's the principal? What? <laughs> like Steve Buscemi. <laughs> hello fellow kids. <laughs> and he laughs awkwardly and stuff. I'm just trying to stay hip. Honestly, okay. If I were a professor at a school, whether it's for Pokemon or business or technicals or whatever, I would absolutely try to fit in with the young with the with the youngsters, so to speak. I would try to do as best as I possibly And it may some come off as corny, or maybe even a little uh, aged and jaded, but uh, I I'd, I'd go for it in a heartbeat because it makes me smile. And despite the, the despite the smirks that it may put on kids' faces, I think it makes them smile a little bit too, just just a tad bit. The champion is known as La Primera, Ooh. like like the boss, or I don't know what that means in Spanish, but I guess it's like the Primark or something like that. Man, I heard you just knock some blocks off. Nice, not bad, Double G-Dog. You're the real deal, man. The realest I've ever seen. Keep busting heads. Get them. And if anyone gives you lips, just tell them King K said to back it up. Biz Owl. Uh, oh, apparently, uh, La Primera means the first. And Haru's goal is, to, as a parent, is to stay just ahead of the ki their kids in every game that they play. That way, you always know what's coming. I feel like at that point, you kind of had the, the the context to be able to like prepare them for like, let's say, the more depressing parts of the game, potentially. Because in Violet, there are multiple champions, and she was the first. Oh, very, very cool. Ah, that hurts! I don't know who said that. Keep quiet. My foot. Oh, you're fine. Just shut up. Uh, blood pressure right there. Oh, somebody's dying. Oh! Do you have a gag, maybe? <laughs> Come on, kiddo grip, will ya? Bobby! <laughs> Out of the way up there. It's muffled out in the hallway. Whoa! Sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey man, this is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? Just, this stuff just happens. Yikes. No, no, says Haruda. I want to stay ahead of them just so I can beat them in every game that they play. I respect that parenting tactic. They gotta know who's boss. They gotta know who's La Primera all the time. And to be fair, I have respect for people who beat games faster than I do, so if you were my parent in this case, I would have respect for the one who beats it before I do, especially. I would have absolute, I would be in absolute awe of the person who beats it so well. Beats the games, I mean, not beats their children. That would be terrible. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez, fixing for a fight. Well, alrighty then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be a couple of kids, it seems. Wow, incredible. They call themselves the Spike Storm over here. Go easy on the little juveniles, will you? Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid switching your partners out. It's kind of a good example that we like to set for the kids before we absolutely whoop our asses um, in a physical manner, because this is WrestleMania over here. Now you just got to go with it. That's drama. That's what I'm telling you. Their parents are out there watching, but they paid us for it. So, uh, ah, Gretel over here is making a sweet old buck. <laughs> now get on in there. Mario's out here like, uh, what the hell was that? I don't feel good about this anymore. Match time, bub. I don't know if I want to. I heard I'm beating up kids over there. I don't want it. The champs all have to beat La Primera, but she is still known as the strongest champion. I feel like Cynthia will forever be. not the, Maybe not the strongest champion, but the one who I hold in highest regard. It's something about the the hair. Like the hair, like, um... I don't know what you call them. They're like little hair cone things that she's got on her. They're cool of them. They might actually just be really powerful pigtails, and I just wouldn't know. For our next battle, we got these guys and the Midnight Spike Bombers. Yep, a fight to the finish with Spike Storm. We'll get him, Mario. <laughs> We're gonna Spike Bomb you into submission, punks. Get yourselves ready to battle. Go get him. Every champion beats La. Pri oh, I, I did. I did read that already. And oh God, Cynthia gave Haruto nightmares as a child. There was there was some good nightmare. I actually well, I went back and I fought Cynthia so many times because I think there was something like if you if you beat the Elite Four like forty times or something, it just got harder. And by that point, I just wanted a challenge. Um, don't switch partners. That's what I need to not do here. I need to not switch partners. Um, jump on all foes in a row. Shrink stop. Uh, I'll power bounce this guy and see if I can do it. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Incredible. Volo was even worse in Legends Arceus. Ooh, I never got through Legends Arceus. I, I, well, actually, I don't have a Switch, so naturally I wouldn't have been able to. But that one looked really, that one looked really, really cool. The fact that it was so distinctly different from all Pokemon games who came before it, I was like, I loved it. It looked so cool. Oh, please. I would rather you not. 
Uh, don't please. Okay, well, this is this is a bit of an annoyance. Uh, how about we do that star thing that we do so well? Earth tremor? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Don't forget about my star power. Dap dap, hitting the things. Yeah, it's a rhythm thing. Usually pretty good at. I say I'm usually pretty good at rhythm things, but I feel like every single time. <laughs> Every single time I'm on stream, I prove myself wrong about that. That's fine. That's fine. Volo is Cynthia's ancestor. Ooh, a little bit of history there. Has a better battle theme. Has her entire team, but also has control of Giratina. Really? Oh my god. I didn't even know Giratina was in Legends Arceus. That is awesome. Wow. That is something really, really cool. I did not know that at all. Um, you're just going to appeal to the crowd. Yeah, you'll just, you'll just appeal. There's so much to these games. It, Legends Arceus, I feel like, had the most, like, depth to a story out of any of the Pokemon games recently. Not that I not that I would really know, because I hadn't played any of them, but it feels that way. For the most part. Give him the Power Smash. Give this dude the Power Smash. He summoned Garatina just so he could try and catch Arceus. Well, that seems like a pretty valid tactic. I mean, if I was going to try to catch Arceus, I feel like the move would be... Summon, summon the ruler of the distortion world, you know? Anti-god, so to speak. Oh, come on now. Why you gotta be like that? What? Uh... Oh! I got a blessing earlier. Incredible. Thank you! The effect of the curse boosted my attack. It's still not gonna do anything. What a waste! Incredible! Oh, <laughs> I knew it. Absolutely incredible. Um, I just go keep doing it. Oh my god. God, Garantina's lore is just the best. Dude, I love Garantina. Garantina was one of my... Actually, no. Darkrai was one of my favorite Pokemon for a while. So is Deoxys. And so is... You know, Garantina is just freaking awesome. I really... At some point... I, I like to draw every once in a while. And at some point, I want to draw Garantina. I haven't done it yet. I don't draw a lot of Pokemon. But I want to at some point. Alright, you were just... You're giving me a run for my money over here. And I don't quite appreciate it. It worked like Madoka Rebellion. It did. It came up out of nowhere. And just, you know, just, just be how it did. Are you done yet? Are you done just being difficult? Normal gear or noodle gear? Oh, like slither form. Uh, distortion form, was it? Chaos form or something? Oh man. Gotta be with this stuff again. It's flare time. It controls both of them. Origin form and the other one. This is so dope. Haruto's favorite Pokemon has been and will always be Litten. It's such a cute little Pokemon there. I also love that you can play it. What is it? It's, um... Oh my god, what's the final evolutions form that you can play in Smash Brothers? Incineroar? I think it's Incineroar? Is that the Pokemon's name? I've been so out of Pokemon for so long. If I forget it, I apologize! I love it. I love their... I love. Their, I don't play a lot of Smash either, but I like playing as Incineroar. I also meant for which one to draw. Oh, I see. But also very nice. Mmm. One day. Oh, uh, what was it? Norma Gear or Noodle? Oh, I would love... Oh, that was the question. Ah, I... I think... Not Noodle form. Whichever one isn't Noodle form, I think looks cooler. The whole, like, um... Six-legged, like, almost dinosaur dragon thing. Was super cool looking. <laughs> we did it, everybody. We won. Finally. There are two waves. The moment you think you've beaten Giratina, he turns into Origin... Form against twice as strong. Cinematically, that is so cool. It's a sh like it's a darn shame that you can't pull that off. I guess, well, I guess you can in like a normal Pokemon setting, but like in Arceus, like they they basically completely redid things. So like that's totally okay to do. I might be again, might be wrong with the newer games out there, but like that's something like defeating a Pokemon twice is not necessarily something that I would expect. Like the the games that I played up to, which was basically up to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Oh my god. Yeah, that was it. Excuse me. It's all Glitz Pits time. It's just... It's just a fight in the Glitz Pits kind of day. Hey, dude. What's going on? Hey, man. Check this. I heard the hot dog stand outside to get a new menu item. Yeah, sounds like it's some crazy hot dog maybe with an egg from a southern island. Some fool was even saying the hot dog will help you win fights. You ought to snack out on one. I would, but I need to sleep off this terrible, terrible fighter's hangover. Naturally. Mm. When in doubt, worm is always valid. This is true, this is true. They learned well from the Digimon fight tropes. I'm not quite aware of the fight tropes. Is it like to be able to like get more health bars and stuff? Is that like a thing? Um, do I snack on the egg now or do I snack on it later? Welcome to the automated one. I want to reserve, I want to fight more. 
I'm in a fighting kind of mood. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fix it for a fight, huh? Well, of course you are. Well, all right. And then uh, let me just see here. I got the next opponent is going to be something called the rank 14 of the good spit, the Hand It Overs. Now, listen, son, in this battle, I want you to let your enemy damage you three times, okay? It's just so dang boring when a match is so one sided. You hear what I'm saying, don't you? Yeah, I'm just that good, buddy. Now, get in there and kick some behind. Or rather, let them kick your behind. Your sweet, sweet behind, Mario. Know what I'm saying? I don't. Haruda says, the thing that annoys them the most is that the Pokedex is harder to complete in Legends Arceus because of the lack thereof of a Pokemon. Not only do you have to catch every Pokemon, but you also have to do this. Oh, it's even more complex. To catch like 10 of them or watch them do 10 of a move or kill them five times with a certain move. I do remember that the Pokedex thing got kind of crazy in that. That's kind of, that's kind of wild. Five times with a certain move seems very oddly specific. Out of curiosity, Haruda, how close have you gotten to 100% Pokedex in Legends Arceus? Because I feel like that's that's quite the feat. To Digivolve mid-fight if you're losing because the Digimon... For Digimon, it's more temporary, and what do you really have to lose? That's that's true. Ah, that is the deck. That's the trope. Super mega power-up in the middle of it. Gonzalez this time is going up against the Grim Death Burglars. Yep, a fight to the finish with the hand in overs. Um, okay. Uh, we can do this. Yes, we can. <laughs> We're just awfully quick, awful, agile. Just, just, just plain awful. <laughs> Get yourselves ready to battle! Let's get him, dudes. Haruo's gotten a full shiny dex in Legends Arceus and only have five Pokemon left to do a certain move. That is incredible. I need to know how many hours you've spent on this so far. This is, I, I need to like, I need to gauge myself. Like if I were to do this myself, after getting a Switch and, and getting the game and spending all the time in it, how long would it be? All right, you, you guys have to damage me a couple times. So I'm gonna appeal for a little bit. And then Koops is going to do the exact same thing. He's also going to appeal a little bit. Oh, 568 hours? That's not that much in ma That's not much at all. <laughs> congratulations. Absolute congratulations there. That is absolutely... Insane is not the right word for it. That is diligent, and it is motivating. Because I re it reminds me of a time where I spent, like... I want to say, in total, I spent over 300 hours playing Pokemon Sapphire, like on the original copy of the game when I used to play it. Are you just gonna run? Oh, okay. Uh, alrighty then. I think I'm winning the battle. Uh, that wasn't very kind. Not, not at all. I want that back. 568 hours then. Absolute snaps there. I, I don't know. I think in this day and age, in this day and age, I think in my... In the point of my life that I am right now, I don't think that I could spend 568 hours in a game. However, something might pop up and really, really grind my gears the right way. I don't really know. I've only had it for a month. So that's, wait, I got to do some math there. If it was this past month, right? 30 days has September, April, June, and November. 30 times 24 is going to be... Oh my gosh, look at this. 720 hours in the month and 568 spent there. My goodness, Lorelai popping in with the $100 donation to the World Central Kitchen. Thank you so much for that. That is beautiful. I'm gonna pull out one of my pink balloons over here. RIP Cam, mom felt bad for missing the stream. Oh, don't worry. The VOD will come out eventually. I've been spending a lot of my CPU time rendering everything. I'm gonna... I like this music. This music here seems worth for a balloon a balloon thing here. Thank you so much to Lorelai and Lorelai's mother, who are very, very close friends of mine. For every donation, I blow up a balloon, and because I don't have a final count at the end, I'm gonna blow up the balloon and then pop it in celebration. Thank you to everybody out there. So far, that means, officially, Overall, that means that in total, for Thankmas 2022, for Team Hippo Hype, we have raised over $1,000 for the World Central Kitchen, which is absolutely freaking insane. It has been very, very fun doing this. I'm going to be do keeping this fundraising thing on Twitch here for the rest of the year, so. No gods here, only balloons. This one's for Lorelai, which I am writing on my balloon over here. And for Mama Smith, with the $100 donation. I love y'all so much. Popping in here, doing wonderful, wonderful things. Oh no, okay, so here's the, here is the warning. Here is the balloon. And where's my X-Acto knife? Here's a screwdriver, I'm gonna pop it with a screwdriver. I don't wanna bang up the microphone, so instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back there. 
I'll pop it back there. Hi there, I'm back here. I'm at my bar. Merry Thankmas, everybody. Anyway, we continue with Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. Jesus to the Christ Lord himself. We did it. We made over a thousand dollars. I love it. It's great. Oh my goodness. Again, many thanks. Many thanks from me to you on behalf of the World Central Kitchen and the people who will have warm, warm meals prepared for them during times of dear, dear crisis. But in the meantime, check out these folks that I just whooped. And they're dead now. And I let them hit me at least three times. So I think we accomplished that goal. Here's your fight. Whoa. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Bing. I received six coins. Excellent. Now, if you'll excuse me. Where'd my glasses go? Oh, my glasses are on my head. <laughs> I forgot about it. In times of crisis? So yes, actually. So the World Central Kitchen is an organization that raises, that um, basically when they first catch wind of different crises in the world, whether that be natural disasters, humanitarian crises, pretty much anything else that could be considered like great harm for populations in need, they will start preparing hot food ahead of time to be able to support the people who are, are in the midst of those crises and go out there and be, be very helpful. In crisis, oh, crisis, I also find, ah, Christ, Christ is, is Christuses? Anyway, have you ever heard the, Hey, you hear the latest G-Dog? <laughs> My boys say they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. KK, because he was a little shorty in his life, Dig. You are disgusting. Check her out for me, man. <laughs> I can't leave here. I have not been programmed to. I I don't really want to go check out the juice and babe at the babe shop. Uh, what did I say? The juice and babe at the... No, just kidding. I, I don't have a hankering for juice. I just have a hankering for this warm bed over here. And more fights. Beating up more kids. I don't know how old those bandits were. Um, but they definitely didn't look old enough for fighting. I'm sure their parents are very, very proud. And richer now than they were previously. Who's next? Who's going to be the next one? Juice and babe at the babe shop. That's what it's all about. <laughs> what do they sell at the babe shop? <laughs> Milkshakes, actually. Well, boy, Howdy Gonzalez, fixing for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Well, on my list, it appears um, that let me, our next opponent is gonna be ranked 13 of the Glitz Pit, the Punk Rocks. <laughs> the Punk Rockers, get it? Punk Rocks? <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Came out, AXA has begun to air it out. I haven't aired it out. You've aired it out. And I see a Guidney in the in there, peeking on over. Guidney's like, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Actually, can I peek over on my own screen? This is gonna be cool. Wait, 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 wait. I'm getting down. Getting down low. Hey, I'll be playing <laughs> playing Mario. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them their special moves. If you do any of that shit, pull any of that shit on here, I am gonna whoop you. Long battle, simplest and finest. No special moves, just to keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. No, they say kiss. You know, give me a kiss, Mario. I mean, keep it simple, stupid. Or perhaps otherwise. I don't know. Read my lips, Mario. What do my lips say? Short King hard mode unlocked. It's not difficult down here. I've still got my controller. Am I crazy, or you started the game like 10 years ago? I did start this game like 10 years ago. I haven't played it since my last apartment, and I moved here like four months ago, three or four months ago. <laughs> Gonzalez, follow me. I did. Don't worry, I haven't played it since then. You haven't missed anything. I've just been taking my time. Also because I think, I think I was supposed to like go through my, um, I think I was supposed to go through the emulation settings and make it less stuttery, but I just didn't do that because I stopped caring about the stutteriness and whatnot. I'm not gonna drop $200 on a computer part just to just to stop one game from freezing. I'm gonna play it anyway because um, some would say that the real show is right here, me, and then the folks down there. That's where the real show is. Not not down there as in my crotch, as in like the chat down below. That's where the real show is. For our next battle over here, the Merciless Execution of the Great Gonzalez is going up against the Green Torture Squad. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Punk Rocks. Um, Hey, yo, sussy. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing down here except my beautiful plaid pants. I, I promise. We can do this. Oh, the Green Club does. This no take long. This end in pain for mustache. I must ask you a question. Haha. <laughs> Battle, LOL, uh, not the real show be in your crotch. It'll get interesting when you get to raw cock. <laughs> the rockest of hawkists. Oh yeah, I'm gonna kick this by his butt. All right, dude, 
Don't use specials. I... See, that's hard, though. That is, that is that is very, very hard to do. Can I use an item? I have no items. They took all my items. I remember. This is why we need to go get the Yoshi. Because I can't use my special moves. I understand now. I I remember now. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go get the dude. I can't do it. I just can't do it, Captain. I do not have the power. Mario also needs a union. Dude, these green clefts need a union. All these guys need a union. Can I just run away? I'm out of here. Nah, I know I can't win this battle. I, I remember the plot point for this battle. Get out of here. Specifically, a union winner. We got ourselves a winner of the punk rocks over here! Pathetic mustache. Pathetic indeed. Here's your fight money. <laughs> Consolation prize for you little land lovers. Alright, I remain here. Um, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go talk to that special egg dude. Um, depending on how long it took for me to get there, depends on what color the Yoshi is. And I took my sweet old time, so it's gonna be a regular one. I'm out of here, folks. Peace. Gotta go crack an egg open. Woo! Is that the raucest of hawkest? Oh my god, it's the raucest of hawkest! What do you have to say for yourself? Move say you wanna be in my camera settings, can't process minor leaguers. Oh, you said this already, right? Huh? The Great Gonzalez, you're a minor leaguer and your nickname is Great. <laughs> okay, don't appreciate that there. Hey champ, hey what's going on dude? <laughs> Everyone wants a piece of the rock. It's a tough life. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me. Yeah, because everyone loves to rock. I don't like how conceited you are. Is that all you have? That's all you have to say. Incredible. Anybody in this crowd? How do you feel about this, miss? Well, Mr. Mustache, so you're a fighter now? <laughs> well, I suppose I'll cheer you from the shadows, my sweet. Again, don't remember what your voice was. All the girlies screaming for raw caught. Damn. I thought it loops on itself so you don't just max out the clock. I don't remember. I don't quite recall. Somebody's gonna have to check the code for that one. No bad. Very bad. Behave yourself, egg. Oh. Come back here, you. I'm gonna go get you. Uh, no, bad. Uh, come back. Help. My important eggs are the escape. Uh, somebody catch it. Please. Oh, the timer does loop. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. I'm gonna save first. That made quite a bit of progress. Save? Yeah. What an epic sound that we got going on here. Hello? What do you have to say about your egg? Uh, so bad. It does not even have arms and legs. And still, I cannot catch it. My menu was going to have this southern fried egg dog of tastiness, uh, but now, bad. Very bad. How's it going? Uh, very bad. It's bad. I ordered that naughty egg from an island in the south. I had to pay shipping too. But I didn't. But I didn't get my egg. I don't just stand there. I happen to catch it. You're Italian. Hello. Man, I am getting stuttering and clipping like nobody's business. Oh. Let's see. We got some feelings that it's going to be red. I want the color yellow. Is that an option? What's the best way to go about doing this? Ha 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 Must find the egg. Maybe I can use a power to do it. Maybe I just like... Do I let it just kind of hang around? I can do this thing. Can I hit you with my egg? Hit? No? Maybe I need a different partner for this. L let me see. Can I blow you away? Might I blow you away? Mm, no. That didn't work. Will it follow? What if I push it in a different direction, right? Nope, don't go this way. I don't remember how to catch this thing. Oh, the game has frozen. Oh, there we go. I must have awfully bad. Calm down from there, bad egg. How am I supposed to get it now? A fly there? You, oh, don't just stand there with your mustache. I'll find a way to get up there. I will. I will try my damnedest. I will try. Zuh, 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 zuh. Mario joined wrestling, needs a union. Also, mom felt bad she missed the big stream, so she popped in with a $100 donation. Don't feel bad, get glad. Trash bags. I love that slogan. It has so many applications. Don't get sad or get mad, get glad, you know? All right. Here we go. You got it, you got it. it you had it. Uh, you did not have it, actually. That was, that was totally on me. I thought I may have had it. I did not. Not this time, at least. 
Maybe next time. I'm gonna put my microphone back up. Ugh. If she wants, it will be on YouTube so she can watch us be sleep deprived forever. Dude, that's the best part. You can just keep that thing on a 24 hour loop. Not that you'd want to. I wouldn't recommend it. Not every piece of that stream was premium quality content, although we tried our bestest there. My goodness. Oh my god, the lag. Oh my god, it was doing it. It was doing it so bad. That butcher's a cannibal. It's a pig selling hot dogs. Well, hot dogs are most likely not the pig anyway. No, nah, it's probably like like toad meat or something, you know? What's the most like... Well, that's the thing. Like, What is the most prolific, or I guess most prevalent animal in the Mario universe? I would think it'd be Goom Goombas, right? Can we get like a nice angle on this? I am not... No, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well. I know there's a trick. I know there's a trick. I know there's a trick. Oh my God, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. There we go. Beef Yoshi? Would Toad Meat be a meat product? Yes! I'm inclined to think it was! Oh my god, I forgot to read. <coughs> Excuse me. Mario, hun, what to do? Think we ought to do? I think we should help the little guy. A positively endearing choice, Mario. Not that I expected any less. We shall free him! You, sir, a Mr. Proprietor, would you allow us to free this poor soul? Uh... Oh, fine. And most people don't like eating stuff that jumps all over the place anyway. Have you ever heard of a Mexican jumping bean? Those things are incredibly difficult to sell. Well, that's just lovely. We'll be free to do whatever you like, dear egg. Farewell. Come and join our party. Hmm. And what is it now, dear? You wish to go company us, you adorable little thing? I dare say this little dumpling wants to stay with us, Mario. What should we do? No. Mario, you awful, awful man. Why must you torment him? We simply must take him in. You're all clear, little one, but do try not to give a little underfoot, all right? Egg has joined the party. Thank you for joining us. My goodness. Oh. Yoshi would explain why he thought the egg would be well-liked. That's true. It is definitely Yoshi meat. Will Goomba taste like chestnuts or mushrooms? Why not both? Por que no los dos? Oh, an error occurred. Ignore and continue? Yes. Yes, keep going. That was interesting. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I'm gonna save before that happens again. I feel like chestnuts because the toads would be mushrooms. Yoshi broke the game. Dude, this Yoshi's causing all kinds of eldritch horrors to occur. Oh my god, an email! Christ, Baba too strong. Email time. Who is it? Is it my mom? Mom! Mom, is that you? Mama, you sending me another mail thing? RDM. All right. Real, real stuff that. <clears throat> Time to report today. Old Toad settles in. It's uh, come to light that after settling into life at our end, Toadsworth, age 60, has often been spotted in the company of Zesty, age 55, the notoriously finicky Zesty, surprised all. Surprised all when she was heard saying, what's wrong with spending time with my little tootly twos? The possibility such a comment opens as our eyes and ears glued to the situation. Shop reporter, go! Our focus of attention this week, Pungent's great tea shree shop. Uh, Pungent's easygoing management philosophy is money and girls are fickle. So easy, come easy go, you know? He fully understands why his shop isn't busy or too. We're OL hidden, but like any good treasure, we're forth or looking for. He even has a special offer for RDM readers. For the next 15 minutes, I'll give you double shop points. As if I'm going to be able to get there in 15 minutes. Cooking for rookies. Today's yummy recipe. Spicy soup. Sleepy fire flour and hot water. And presto. You're done. The perfect first meal for kids to cook. Editor's note. We've been working all night to bring you this edition of RDM. Look forward to hot more news in issue three coming soon. Asterix, asterisk, 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 asterisk. Published by the Rogueport Restoration Committee. Wow, wasn't that wonderful? I got absolutely nothing from that. <laughs> Mom, I haven't heard from you since the Stork incident. Admin, RDM, get him banned from the Gmod server. He's mass RDMing. Would you believe it? I have been on Steam for almost 10 years now, and I just got Gary's mod up last month, and I've never played it. So I have absolutely no idea what an RDM is, but I am willing to learn. Please, if you have knowledge in your heart and love in your brain, share with me. Haruna still hasn't gotten Gmod. Oh, thank goodness I'm not the only one out there. I can't be the only one. Yo, let me go check out the babe shop and see if I can buy some smoothies. Or, or whatever it was. Oh, juice. That was a... Excuse me. A uh, hello? REM is when you kill someone for no reason on a roleplay server. Aw. That's so mean. Prince Mush, the first Glitz Pit champion. The fighter long since lost. He's shown truly and brightly. Many fans still hope that he may dramatically return. Of course, I'm one of them. 
I long to see the poetry of his pure fighting style. Maybe one day, do you think that was the hot babe at the juice shop, or do you think this is the hot babe at the juice shop? Hey there, welcome. Our doors are always open for thirsty fat fans. This will sound crazy, but I really wouldn't mind being the strongest guy alive. I mean, sure, every guy dreams that once in a while, but the thing is, I once... No, wait, never mind. Oh, good, uh, good luck out there. I don't think I've done anything with my life. Can I have some juice, please? Can I have juice? I, I, want, I want juice. Can I have some juice? You got some juice hiding back here? Random death mod? Oh, a star piece. I'm sorry, says Laurel. I only ever use Gmod for Homestuck. I gotta read Homestuck at some point. Excellent webcomic series, I think. What else do you have to say for yourself? Um, yeah. Oh, 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 you were talking something. Bonjour, Monsieur Mustache. I wonder what flowers that beautiful mademoiselle likes. She is like a ravishing but thorny red rose, huh? Oh, she is horny. I mean thorny. I'm the horny one. <laughs> I don't even- was that like a Yoshi dude or something? I don't even know. I'm sorry, that star piece is literally just a revive for Pokemon. Uh, it is. It's a piece of the stars! Or, or so they sell. Hey, you got tips? Well, hi there, Murphy! It's Coop, the mayor of Pedalburg. That was Coops. Hey, Mario, this is Pudio. Stop by every now and then, will ya? I gotta remember these voices. Oh my god. Well, hi there, Murphy. It's Coop. I picked up the phone again. Isn't that cool? Is Coop still doing well? <laughs> you lost him. Who's Coops, anyways? Uh, I'm gonna buy some items. I realize I have absolutely no items, so uh, I will go get some items. <laughs> I wonder if the death of Flash made experiencing it any harder, but haven't touched any of it since the main series ended. Homestuck, I believe this is still a reference to. I know not. Man, I am experiencing a bunch of glitches here. I'd normally apologize, but I've done that at least two times right now, so this time, I'm not going to. I'm gonna buy shit. What do we want? Thunder? I want Earthquake. I'm gonna buy- I have two coin? I have- I have only enough for two of these? I'm gonna buy two of these and see if it works. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm gonna use that star piece to revive my guard chop and kill all the toads. Oh, hold on, hold on there. What have you got against the Amoongus? It ain't all just Pokemon battles, Haruto. Sometimes we just have to think of it. Maybe, maybe this time it's like a like a beauty show from like Pokemon Emerald and stuff. I miss those times. It's free food. It is. Now, when you put it that way, I think I might be getting a little hungry. It's a crime. Not if it happens for the sake of the Glitz Pit. For chance. All right. Well, now I got this little dude around with me. Do this. This place require. Uh, did this place allow pets? I went the wrong way, didn't I? Um, hello? Minor league locker room. You can only enter your designated locker room. Sorry, regulations. Am I not in the... I, but I... I just gotta... I just gotta feel for the groove for a moment. I don't know what instrument they use to make it sound, the, the sound almost like sandy. Like that. I love it when music has that in it. It's like, it's not a sitar. It's a different instrument, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Glitz pit or glitch pit? You decide. The real crime, says Haruto, is how good these toads taste. It's like a mushroom sea. They're kind of, kind of savory, kind of meaty, but oh my goodness. What are you doing out here, Randy, Andy, Andy's and Randy's? Hey, hey there, Gonzalez. How's it going? Me? I'm, I'm doing a little <laughs> research. Hey, speaking of which, ever, ever hear of the Seven Wonders that Glitz Pit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this place has rumors and secrets and spades, but the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. <laughs> These things fascinate me, so I, I, I wander around doing research on them. <laughs> well, so how about it? Oh, Want to hear about the Seven Wonders? Or not? Felonies mean nothing compared to the taste. Dude, if, if, if it tastes good, then I will absolutely murder a civilian. <laughs> Let's see, which one do you want to hear about first? I want to hear all about the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit, starting with Grubba and Jolene! Grubba's a strange one. His body is incredibly toned, even though he's way past 60. He must have an exceptional training regimen. 
Then there's the matter of Miss Jolene. <laughs> they say she suddenly vanishes at times. Some say a fighter saw her go into the bathroom and waited for her to come out. <laughs> but, but she never did. <laughs> I followed her into the bathroom and, and she never came out. <laughs> but, but don't tell anyone. Hey, you think it's stranger that someone stalked, st staked out her bathroom? <laughs> Good point. I have no idea who it was. Hey there, how's it going? You're looking curious. Want to hear about the Seven Wonders? <laughs> yeah. Um, how about the missing ones? My voice is getting a little hoarse from that. I think I'll only read one more of these. <laughs> they say, sometimes fighters disappear for no reason, never to return. <laughs> Some say that the very first champion, Prince Mush, was spirited away in this way. One more. Do one more. <laughs> the spooky ring lights, you say. My friend's friend's friend friend told me this one. He said he saw a strange light leaking out of the ring doors when no one else was there. He couldn't see inside since the doors were locked. I plan to investigate this myself. But that'll happen on another time. Who is in this room? Oh, this is the room I was in. Haruno says that they will also murder a civilian and then go kill a civilian in a game. See, it's all about balance in life. Sometimes you murder real civilians and sometimes you murder the fake ones. But usually, you should murder the fake ones to practice for your real victims. Naturally. Naturally. Hey, green dude, tell me how you fight. Grack, mustache must have worked out. <laughs> Stupid little Grack. You don't got nothing. Um, okay. Well, I want to fight this guy. Uh, I guess I probably shouldn't have run out of that battle, so I think what I'll do is I'll use, um... I'll use this one. To tell us, reserve a match today. So I burned down a village today and then went to go play Minecraft. That is what it's all about. It's all about balance in life, Aruto. It's all about balance. If you don't have balance in your life, then you are bound to do the burning of the village thing all of the time. And you can't just burn all the villages because if you burn all the villages, there will be no more left to burn. That's the thing, like, all these enemies out there, all these villains going like, I'm gonna destroy the world! I'll be like, well, then you won't have a world to rule, you know what I'm saying? The Final Fantasy VII Remake always really worked to make Sephiroth hip with the kids. That man is downright sexy. Don't even at me. He kind of is. One-winged angel? I'd buy that. I really want the Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I don't think my computer can handle it. Gonzalez! It's time to go! Maybe this buddy of mine is gonna, like, just hatch on stage. Perhaps that's a plot point. I don't know. Let's get him, everybody! For our next battle, we got the same things that we did before. It's the same old match, but it's done again. This Gonzalo is gonna try it one more time. Let's get in there and battle. It's a nervous tick for Grubba. Excuse me. Do not change partners. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to kick your ass. Consumption. What will we consume? Oh, my God. What do I have to consume over here? I've got snacks somewhere. Wait, I'm going to look for a snack. Wait, what does it say? It says consumption. Oh, I can consume whatever I want to. Wait, I got cookies. I've got cookies. Thank you so much for consume the paint. I don't have any paint, unfortunately. But I got cookies. Um, let's kick this guy. Huh. Cookie power. Whoa. Nice, everyone. Um, can I just blow you all away? Body slam! Nice job. Excellent job there. Um, nice. Oh my gosh. That's for extreme... <laughs> That's for extreme consumption. True. Eating things that are otherwise not normally eatable. Like... Like... Like paint. <laughs> or this container of pomegranate Burt's Bees chapstick. Which I feel like is edible. Maybe. Who knows? Technically, according to TOS, I can't allow you people to redeem something that makes me do something that is harmful for myself. So, if lead paint is on the menu, that's a no-go. I don't know what the content of the paint on these walls is. According to my most recent um, lease agreement uh, and the papers that are associated with it, there is no lead in this apartment, but that only applies for the pipes, not the paint. I don't think. 
If you put it in your body, then surely it's safe, naturally. So long as it and so long as it comes out the other side, I think we're okay. Good. Please don't drink paint. I'm not gonna drink paint. Unless. Anytime you care for another lesson, we'll be here. Acrylics are also not great. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was that kid in elementary school who would take popcorn, dip it in the dirt, and then eat it, so I eat very weird things. I also became a mixologist, if the bar back there wasn't obvious enough about that. I do cocktails on Wednesdays. It's fun stuff. I think I'm going to do holiday co I, had, I had a bunch of cocktails that we did during the, uh, the stream on Friday, and I didn't get through all the holiday ones, so I'm just going to do that this week. It's going to be great. Look, you can eat everything at least once. <laughs> That's a good point there. You can. You can. Sometimes you only get one time. My rank in rose. Anything can be edible at once is a warning, not a challenge. <laughs> shared a brain cell there. That we did. Shared a single brain cell. It's the final brain cell. Dee -dee -dee -doo. Dee -doo -dee -doo -dee Listen, man, keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, you dig? After the next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool, man, that's for sure. But you know what? That's life, double G dog. Listen, you be cool, man. Promise me you won't forget you won't forget you won't Promise me you won't forget you once knew the King K. You once knew the King K. Yes, you did. K for Koopa. You took half of my only brain cell? Give it back. Listen. Listen, Haruto. I'm sorry. Here. It's for you. Or did you take mine? Who's to say? Do we all collectively share a brain cell out here? <laughs> Welcome to Cameron with an X. My name is Cameron, and I'm in at least a quarter of a brain cell. It tastes good. You ate the brain cell? It's edible. It's technically edible at least once. We've talked about this. I want to go back to my buddy Coops. I like Coops as my party member. He's also a fun voice to do. There we go. Welcome to the reservation system. Let's get... Excuse me, on in there. Haruto, did you eat the only brain cell? Did, did, did you eat the only brain cell out there? Scientifically speaking, if you eat the only brain cell for all of us... I guess I'm just living off of this piece of a... The fraction of a brain cell that I have. <laughs> Rank 12 of the great fit of the mind bogglers. Speaking of partialized brain cells, mind boggling. Now, listen, son, in this battle, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? The crowd needs something flashy. You catch my drift? Give them a good show out there. Are we still technically sharing it if, if, if Haruto has it? Well, I, I, I specifically gave Haruto half of the brain cell. I believed for a moment that I had the half, so that's what I handed. Now, for all I know, the half of the brain cell might have been a different percentage based off of the brain cell that I received the first time and what has been distributed to all of us originally. I don't really know. Haruto also ate half a jar of peanut butter straight out of the jar, but we don't talk about that. Oh, uh, uh, no, you know what? I did that one time. When I first moved into my first apartment, I literally ate nothing but peanut butter for a straight week. Not even kidding. And that was because I just didn't have the wherewithal to go to the store because I was so tired of moving everything myself. I was just like, nope, it's just going to be solid peanuts and creamed peanuts. That's all it will be. And that's what I did. And some of those peanuts are still in my apartment. And I... Oh, no, actually, I'm pretty sure I threw them out. We don't want that. Winnie the Pooh approves of your instincts. That's what it has to be about. All right. I am supposed to use at least one special move. <laughs> your children may be less so. I got to... Haruto, did your children see this? Do your children know that you ate half the jar of peanut butter? I understand if you don't want to talk about it. That was the way that you, you we do that we did lead on with that. I personally do not believe people with lactose intolerance exist. Everyone poop. Disney Queen, do you have something to say about that? My fiance. Well, I, I actually, I got a buddy. I had a buddy on the other day who is also lactose intolerant. I don't know. Personally, I just like oat milk because so in my house, my fiance is a little maybe not lactose intolerant. Lactose sensitive, dairy sensitive. So I just like I just like to drink oat milk anyway. It feels very similar to whole milk for me. Whole milk also is pretty good. I had a Starbucks latte today with the whole milk in it because I didn't want to modify the flavor at all and oh, so good. There is nothing quite like a full glass of milk. And I don't know whether that's a good statement or a negative statement. I just I just don't know. That's great. Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. Get yourselves ready to battle. Let's get it. Cheese just comes with attacks sometimes. It's fine. Milk is disgusting. I respect your opinion there. 
Personally, if I had if I had to use anything else, I will not use regular milk because I tend to avoid it in my household. But sometimes I just have it. Sometimes a recipe calls for milk. I think the only time that I use milk other than like just because it's available or just because it was the default is I like I've always wanted to do a clarified like clarified cocktails using milk because milk has lactose in it and there's a cool chemical process that you can do where you clarify it and you can take all of the opaque parts of milk and separate it and the milk becomes transparent which is really cool anyway uh i'm gonna kill these dudes i need to use at least one special move and i'm gonna use my keg hammer bum, bum, whoop -ow! oh that was terrible all right well now i'm gonna use this thing too oh my god link disapproves of this message of the whole not liking the lon lon milk link is the real femboy god have you ever tried carbonated milk it tastes amazing i i've had i've had a drink called Calpico, and I think, if I'm thinking of the correct one, I think that was basically carbonated milk. Uh, I, it might be a different one, though. I definitely had a drink once upon a time, and I think it was carbonated milk, and it was pretty good. I liked it, um, but it was also, like, strawberry-flavored, and strawberry milk just has a special place in my heart. We got ourselves a winner! Great Gonzalez is the winner! Yeah, we did. Transitioning and passing was a big element of Majora's Mask. Dude, it's all a metaphor. Or perhaps not a metaphor at all. It might have just been. Here's your fight, Manny Gonzalez. Good, Gonzalez. I gotta remember, I do the bedroom eyes voice for Jolene. I'm up to 12 now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get out of here. Carbonating milk literally just spoils it quicker. Well, that's because, well, if you carbonate milk, I believe carbonation causes things to get acidic. And if you acidify milk, it gets a little, gets a bit spoiled. Fizzy water is the worst, even when it's when it's used to curse apple juice. Like, like sparkling apple juice? I kind of like sparkling apple juice. Fizzy water in general, I think fizzy water, when I didn't expect it, struck me in a way that I wasn't okay with. Like, I went I went to Europe one time, and when I ordered water, I just got a but I, I could not get a non-carbonated water or non-fizzy water anywhere. And that bothered me for a little while, but eventually I got used to it. It's a very particular flavor. And, and I feel I think it has a good use in especially some of the uh, the recipes that I wind up making. It, it tastes amazing. German apple juice was a lie. It's not apple juice. It's sparkling apple liquid. <laughs> Do it in five turns or less. I got a date with a cutie, and that cutie's there. You Mario, don't you know? Get that. Bring that puppy home quick. Except it wasn't even Water's betrayal. No, it was the apple who did it. Apples ferment. Well, actually, if you just ferment the apples. Makes a little bit of carbonation. I wonder how they make the sparkling apple juice. Do they just let it ferment? Just get a little bit of carbon in there? I wonder. There's various different types of fermentation. And I think one of the fermentations does wind up producing carbon dioxide. Oh, did I not do it right? I thought I used my special. It's oh, I guess the special has to be my star move. All right, well, five turns or less. Here we go. Let's get ready to... <laughs> Alrighty then, five turns or less. Let's do it. I'm gonna do it with the with the good quakes, the good quakey quakies. Nice. And only hit one of them, of course. But I flippied. I thought they used seltzer water. Could be wrong. BRB cookies. I don't quite recall for the seltzer. I don't know too much about those particular libations. Um. I don't want to use the earthquake yet. I'll just I'll just power shell it. Why not? One, two, let it rip, Beyblade, Beyblade. Let it rip. Oh, don't like that. Nope, don't like that. Don't you be spitting your goob at me. Not quite appreciated. But what shall I do? Five turns or less? 30 minutes or it's free, you say? I think I can handle that. Nice, excellent. Now, if you can just come down to the ground for just a moment, I think we'll be able to do this less than five turns. Um, nope, can't do that. How about I can't, nope, can't do that. Guess I'll just appeal. Hey, everybody. Oh, a nice luck. Here we go. What will you do? Uh, my defense increase. The damage I take is lessened. Not that bad. Thank you. Whatever your name was, I can't quite remember. Um, spin jump again, just for good measure. 
Nice. And so, I hope we completed this battle correctly. I gotta keep a move on. I gotta keep going. At least we're getting experience. I love that piranha plant over there, just going like... That's a move that I appreciate. Haruto really wants to make sushi, but it's 2.30 a.m. and they don't want to make the family. Should you do it? I am all for treating yourself. I don't often bring myself to treat myself, but if I were in your shoes and I had the material to make the sushi and my kids were asleep, I'd treat myself. I would go for the sushi. Also, I will also preface this with I am an enabler, so I might not be the right person to be asking for things that you are on the fence about that you might want to do but may have consequences. However, you were the one who said we should burn down a village, so if we're willing to burn down villages, I think we should treat ourselves to sushi. Also, I would kill for sushi right now. I would burn a village for sushi. I don't know if that should be worrying people. I might actually take a life for sushi. I love seafood so much. Oh my god. Pretty much any time a special event comes up, if I had the choice of where we're going, it's like, we're going to a seafood place. For my birthday this year, went to a sushi restaurant up the road, and my fiance, Disney Queen, did not scoff at the idea of going again. It was affordable, and I had really good teriyaki chicken for her. She is not a fish kind of person. Well, boy, howdy there, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight? Absolutely. Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. The next opponent will be Eleven, the Babon Squad. Now listen here, son. In this battle, I want you to let your enemy damage you three times. I ex let them explode on you. I want to see it happen. You know what I'm saying? Now get in there and kick some behind. I'll try my best. Dude, I think I'm going up against you. What was your voice again? Oh, it's time to go. Oh, oh God. Japanese is Haruto's favorite form of cuisine. I am so glad. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> I love Japanese. I honestly, in general, I love... And I don't mean this in a very, in a pinpointed fashion. I love Asian food. I love Indian food. I love Malaysian food. I love Japanese food. I love Chinese food. Pretty much if it comes from the continent of Asia, I love that food. I just, there is something about, I, I don't even know. It's awesome. I also, I, I, generally speaking, I also like Mediterranean food. Disney Queen liked the chicken. It was the chicken. The chicken that you like, the teriyaki chicken, I believe. Tonkatsu ramen is just the best, says Haruto. There are a couple of really, really nice ramen places in Philadelphia, and I would be lying if I've only been there once. Been there multiple times. And they are great. Nothing, I feel like I watched, I, I'm a bit of an anime watcher, and nothing like made me feel more like out of body experience than having a, a damn good bowl of ramen. It was so finely made, it was savory, it was sweet, it was smooth, it was balanced. Oh my god. <laughs> so good. I don't remember what your voice was, Babam. Here we go, G Gonzalez, Babam, I have advice. Just just give up now, Babam. Go for it. Let's battle. Haruto's out there living across the pond in Britain, so they've made it a point of going to London just to go to this Japanese market that has the best ramen that they've ever had. If you ever find yourself in Philadelphia, that's the locale that I'm located in, at least for now, there is a really nice place that they're called, um, I get, I get the two mixed up. I think it's Nom Nom. No, 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 it's either Nom Nom. No, it's not Nom Nom Ramen. It's Aki Nom Nom. A-K-I Nom Nom. Aki Nom Nom, and it's... That's the place where I had my, dare I say, orgasmic ramen experience. And I like, to quite, I wouldn't say literally, but metaphorically speaking, I came close. Teehee. That was a suggestive comment. All right. Hurt me, guys. You need to damage me three times. Just let it happen. Okay, nice. Excellent. Nice. I'm gonna counter this one. Nope, didn't counter that one. How about this time? Nice. Oh, and now you're pissed off. Quake Hammer? Quake Hammer? Oh, I didn't do the thing. Oh my god. I did it. <clears throat> oh, you exploded. Oh, your turn, buddy. Oh, they're gonna explode. Uh, I think we should probably... Yeah. There we go. That was a pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, we survived! <laughs> Tell the tale. Incredible. That would have been terrible. 
Nah, just kidding. It was fine. Nice. We uh, we protected ourselves. I mean, it's also just amazing, Cicerudo, because it's located right next to a shop called M&M World, which is literally just a shop of everything M&Ms. It's also right next to the Lego store. Dude, you've got, like, the trifecta there. You've got the place that hits me in my nostalgia area, the Lego World. You've got the M&M World, which hits me in my sweets area, because I love those tiny little tubes of M&Ms. Not, not regular M&Ms. Regular M&Ms just don't do it for me. Peanut M&Ms are fire. The peanut butter M&Ms are also fire. Um, and the little tiny tubes of M&Ms are just... Oh my god. Nostalgia. And then, of course, you have Sushi Place. <laughs> god. I, I'm not trying to ask for personal information, but where in Britain are you? I want to go there. I, I, actually, I, I'm curious at least to the name of, you, you don't have to share it. I, I don't want to force information out of people. That sounds awesome. Oh my god. Have you tried brownie M&Ms? I didn't. But you know what was around for a little bit of time? I think it was like the coconut M&Ms? I think it was like when they were trying to like pick a flavor or whatever. Oh my god, it was so good. They were like the coconut flavor something? I don't I don't remember what it is. They were all good. There was like British toffee. There was a coconut one. There was a jalapeno one, and all of them were actually pretty good. London, in an area called Lichester Square. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Lichester? How about salted caramel MMs? No, I don't think I had those ones. Is that different from the regular caramel ones? I don't think I had the I haven't had the caramel ones either, but I wonder if they're separate. Quite lonely without King K around, bomb. No lonely. Him too weak. Now him not here. Sound normal to Cleftor. You were in Bob to dial. Cleftor, I saw you were weeping in the locker, bomb. Oh, He's gone. I guess we got a new count in here. It's pronounced Lester. Ah, Lester. Thank you very much for the uh for the correction there. I don't like to do things wrong. I like to learn from things, so I do appreciate the correction. Corrections are always welcome for anybody watching out there. If I say shit that's just incorrect, please. Correct me. Right this way, Mr. Swoo. This is your dressing room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. And when you're ready to fight, you just log into this computer terminal over here. Mr. Grubble will then decide who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. It's a rehearsed script. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with ah. Then pick reserve a match. Go get him, Sir Swoop. Use the terminal now. Don't you understand basic instructions, Sir Swoop? Nice. Wow, that was kind of mean, all things considered. Well, howdy, Sir Swoop. Ready to get your wings dirty? Huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Uh, hey, we're gonna get the crowds fired up, so do a move where you do a triple flip and a meow. <laughs> we like we like to fetishize these fights. People are into it, gets views. Got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene! Okay, son. Well, good day. luck, that part. Go get him. Okay, your battle's preserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to ho where first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower-ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Uh, simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubble sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to do a triple flip and then meow. Fairly easy. I've done it myself quite a few times. I will not be providing any more context on that. If you've satisfied the condition and win, you can battle a higher-ranked opponent next. If you can, get your rank up to 11, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Sir Swoop. Yeah. Woohoo! Um. No. Oh, hey guys. Yeah. Um. Name Swoop. Sir Swoop. Me. Nice to meet you. Yours. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you as well. Yeah. You. Yeah. Yes, Sir Swoop. Uh, it's time for your battle, bub. Follow me. Here we go. Okay. Security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Or perhaps do. I'll be watching. Bye, y'all. That was cool. Haruno says, I find it funny. Every American I've ever spoken to gets that wrong. Same as, I'm not going to say Worcester. I know what Worcester sauce is. Worcester. It's Worcester. I'm pretty sure it's Worcester. I believe somebody's already corrected me on Worcester before. Loving the voices, Lamel. Thank you. I enjoy them as well. And I'm glad it, I'm glad that hits for people. Black. Cleft or mitts must as strong. Indeed. I'll be watching. I'll be watching. Always watching, Wazowski. 
That one can definitely use improvement. That hurts my vocal cords. But it's a- Oh, no, 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 no. No, no fights yet. I have to heal. I have to heal. No, no, no. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I wasn't ready. <laughs> no. Can I sleep? Oh, I can. Yeah, I did want to take a rest. I also completely ignored everything that Grubba just said. Because I was so focused on taking a rest. As I so rightfully deserve. Hey, Gonzalez, it's match time. Follow me, bub. I came in here like three hours ago when you were sleeping. So here we go. <laughs> R.I.P. Here we go! Off to the battle zone again. Just like we normally do. Nice. And now, today's main event. The Major League awaits the 11th rank Greg Gonzalez. Uh, but only if he can beat the 10th rank powerhouse, the Iron Adonis Twins! Uh, first, let's get the merciless execution in here, folks. The Greg Gonzalez! Yeah, Gonzalez! Kick the iron tail! Don't you dare lose, dude! Love that about this! Says the people in the crowd. No way! The great Gonzalez! How are you feeling? <clears throat> oh, Nelly, you heard the fella, folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some and, and discuss people out there. Um, but I'm into it. Love that, Gonzalez. Here they come, guys. Good gravy. Iron them out! Whoa, the spike's legal? Yes. I'd love to watch you playing Undertale. I'll admit, I've wanted to play Undertale on stream. That's a game. I've played through Undertale twice now, and I loved it every single time, and I would absolutely do it. <laughs> Your challenge is real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. Iron Adonis Twins, he said. More like paper dog face bros, and they stink. And then he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. <laughs> no, um, yeah. And then he said, uh, Audi belly buttons running their family. <laughs> Stinkwads. <laughs> Something like that. A and so on. Uh, yep, yep, that's exactly what they said. What? How does he know mom has an Audi? That jerk. We're going to blend you up into a smoothie pal. And then we're going to drink ya. Oh, and one more thing. Only smelly stinkwads call a lot of people stinkwads. Understand? Stink wad. Simmer down there, brother. You stink wad. <laughs> You're gonna regret opening up your mouth, pal. Yep. Yes, you will. <laughs> See these bods? Solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah. They penetrate any substance. <laughs> so basically, what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in the very short time that you have left with a functional brain. Get yourselves ready to battle! I like the idea that the Iron Cleft Twins, one is just like very, very like of the motherland, so to speak, and the other one's just like, yeah, I've Americanized myself. Wow, if we win, we'll actually be in the Major League. Let's show our stuff. <laughs> Give up now, Pipsqueak. Well, Stinkwads, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way. <laughs> Love it. All right, I can't win this fight. I'm aware of that, so I'm going to do this. Haruto did the true genocide route by accident the first time, and then reset because Sans was too hard, then did true passive it, then just killed Papyrus, because why not? Classy. I knew about all the different endings and stuff, and so I did true pacifist my first run through. And I want to say I played it with my fiance, and, excuse me, in the back of a trip to my grandfather's house. It was awesome. It was very interesting to specifically do that. Yeah, I'm gonna die. You chose a very specific revenge against Sam's. Uh, Sans. <laughs> Going against them and being like, yep, yeah, I'm just going to kill your brother. Again. I'm just going to give him my all in this fight. I know there's no way I can win. <laughs> you best believe... You best... You best believe him we did here. You know, if I wind up... You know, I guess I can't play Undertale unless I get a nice Sans voice down. Papyrus is... Papyrus is easy for me. I can do a Papyrus pretty well. Come on now. Nice dodge. Excellent. Yeah, I know these guys can't hurt each other. So, um... Let's just appeal until we die. While Mario's over here fighting the good fight and being hurt very much, he's just gonna wave at the camera and be like, Hi, everybody! 
Haruto started playing Undertale spin-offs as well. The Bad Time Trio is their favorite to watch because the battle music is amazing, but I don't know if they'll ever beat it. The Bad Time Trio? Gotta write that down. That sounds really cool. I didn't realize that there were Undertale spin-offs. I mean, of course there's Undertale spin-offs out there. Anytime something really cool gets mentioned in chat, I write it down so that I don't forget it about later. That was the Bad Bad Time Trio. There's an Undertale spin-off. Bad Time Trio Undertale spin-off. Out of curiosity, have you played um, Delta Room? Because that's something that like I haven't seen too much about, but it seems to have a pretty pretty cult following, kind of like Undertale does. Tell spinoff. That was spinoff. Lower Light does wish it was easier for the first timers to be tripped up by the Toriel fight, but glad so many have enjoyed it. Oh, absolutely. Dust Tail is also an amazing one. It's Undertale, but Sand goes insane and kills everyone. Oh my God, Dust Tail. That sounds epic, my goodness. Undertale also has a wild crossover game with Friday Night Funkin'. There it is. That's a thing too. Interesting. We got ourselves a winner over here, the Armored Harriers! <laughs> How'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. If you want another piece of pummel pie, uh, have a bath. Come on back, punk. We'll be back. Delta Rune is a prequel to Undertale, I believe. I believe, I'm inclined to think that you're correct there. Indeed. Is is that the edgelord design edgelord design? For the just dust tail? Nice. Did you fight money? I get money. I get money. Alright, where's that egg at? Come on, Yosh. Where's my egg? Um, hey Mario, did you notice that the little bouncy egg isn't here? Uh where do you think it went? Beats me, dude! Yo! Hey dude. Oh, cool! I got the little white one! Teal slash whatever. I love that. Gonzales! Check me out! Thanks to you, I had save and sound. Thanks, man! Um, what? You hatched out of that egg. That's nuts. So, you're a Yoshi, huh? Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? I heard all about it while I was in the egg. Yeah! Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole. Honest, just leave it to me. I love how he's got the little cowlick thing going on. Huh? My name? Uh, let's see. Um, so, just kind of came out of that egg. So, guess I don't have an name yet. <laughs> you seem fired up about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? <laughs> you got it, dude. We can do that for you. Oh, my God. I called it. We got the nice one. Haruto finds it hilarious. Sans kills Toriel by tricking her into letting him in, and then he slaughters Papyrus using the blue bones. Dude, that is... That's rough. That's like pers- That's personally- That's personally crazy. Oh my god. Huh. Sorry, I was shocked by a message I just got on my phone. I was just texted by two numbers separately that I am a t <clears throat> I'll read this out loud. You're a tough person to reach. I'm thrilled to announce you might be eligible for substantial settlement recompense. And then a random link, which is the exact same in both messages from two completely separate numbers. I will be blocking those later. Baby blue baby. He's got an ah ahoge? Ahoge. Is that the <laughs> is that the is that the thingy? The best babu. Um actually I love that. Um your name will boo will be uh ba ba babu. Babucha. Oh, Babucha. Your name is going to be Babucha. With the double C's. Babucha. Actually, how about Babuche? Babuche. I got to go back. I got to get the accent in there. Babuche. Do I need to put an accent on the U as well? Babuche. Babuche. If that means anything in any language, I'm sorry. I'm going for it. This is my little baby, Babuche. Babuche. Yes, indeed. Babuska? That's like grandmother or something. Oh, if I ever get a spam call, I always answer. It's fun to screw with them. Every time I get a scam call, this is, I will reenact to you what happens when I get a scam call and I know it's a scam call. They will say like, blah, 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 trying to reach it. And I go like, oh, whoa, 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 until they hang up. It's really funny. <laughs> he can be a Dongaropa pro tag. Dude, Babuche. Love, dude, Donga trigger happy havoc. Awesome. Hmm. Babuche, huh? I'm Italian now. Just kidding. Not bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez, let's get
get out there and do some damage. The Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Babuche. Babuche. I do have, I am five eighths Italian, so I think I have the right to do this. Okay, K Kokichi is just the best. I don't recall which character that is. The game was Friday Night Funkin' Indie Cross. Friday Night Funkin' Indie Cross. I'm gonna write that down too. Fr Friday Night Funkin' and FNF Indie Cross. Oh, cause a bunch of indie games crossing. Crossing over, right? Is that a thing? If I forget anything, my apologies if I wind up forgetting some of these comments, despite the fact that I wrote them down on a piece of paper and a post-it note. I will say this, and this is not trying for me to advertise things. I literally can't remember things very well. So if there's a need, if there's like a suggestion to like make sure that this stays on my radar, I think the best place to put it would probably be in the Discord server that we have here, because then I will literally never forget it. It will be slapped into the history of the Discord. That would be the best place if it is something that we all take seriously. They did a great job with it was Kokichi. He's a supreme evil leader from Danganronpa V3. He's the best character. Ah, I'm just so sad at how they killed him. Oh my god. I haven't played Danganronpa V3. I've played all through V1. I played all through Danganronpa 1, partway through v V2, and then I stopped playing it in college. But I do, I do have all the other ones on my wish list. I will eventually. Is it a spoiler for the franchise? No, it's not a spoiler. Ah, you do whatever you want to. I don't know why I said no spoilers. I don't care. Yoshi's abilities. A primer for what comes next. Press X to get on and off the Yoshi. Nice. I love that. While riding the Yoshi, you'll move much faster. There he goes. There he goes. Also, while on the Yoshi, if you press ah, you'll float briefly in the air. I love that they didn't give him the like the 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 Yoshi like sound. It'd be so annoying, but in the best of ways. In battle, you can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground pad move, or you can use gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. Most of the characters die in Danganronpa, so is it really a spoiler? Oh, that's a very good point. Y'all bring up a very excellent point there. You're right. Fun fact, Baby Blue Yoshi is the color that was at the maximum time length. Ooh! Excellent. I like that. I love Baby Blue. Dongarepa V3 had a huge plot twist, and I loved it. Ooh. So many games on my list to play. I don't know that whether that'll be on stream time or my own time. I don't know. We'll see. Life's been pretty busy recently, so I feel like I find that during the more busy parts of my life... Oh my goodness, Haruto, you walked into a bar, and I said hi. Hello there. Um, in honor for your arrival, I don't know if you're familiar with the show Peppa Pig, but I'm going to put a Peppa Pig... Oh, that one's broken. I'm gonna put a Peppa Pig party hat on my head. Because I like to celebrate these things with party hats. <laughs> I did not, but I am fanfic, says Lorelai. Eventually, we will. That's kind of fitting up there funny. If that slaps into my face later, uh, later um, even more, even even better, comedic, comedically. Good stuff. Oh my gosh. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Fix it for a fight. Yeah, yeah. Armored Harriers. Special move. Gotta get them special moves in there. I technically has no chaps left, but I fell into different fanfic talent. Ooh, interesting. Fanfics, I, I feel like I've never been into a series enough to actively seek out, seek out fanfictions for it. And I don't think, I think that's just an aspect of my personality, I guess. I don't, I don't get super duper into things. Um, but as I mentioned before, like, when life gets a little too hectic, the stream is a way for me to continue to keep myself sane and playing video games and stuff, so things kind of go a little slowly. But otherwise, if things are a little slow, um... I'll probably play video games in my free time. I think the last video game... Actually, the last video game I've been playing in my free time has been Sonic Mania. That has been a blast. I do want to stream that at some point because I love Sonic the Hedgehog. Here we go. We're going up against this thing again. Here we go. Current fanfic hell is, spe is specifically because there is no fan stuff for Pantheon. Oh, interesting. Haruto is annoyed, to be honest. They watched a video at one point when they were younger and it annoyed them because they spoiled who all the killers were in Danganronpa V3. Well, that's annoying. Wow. That's so bothersome. It's kind of hard to go out there like and try to enjoy like content for let's say a game or a series and like actively avoid spoilers. I'm kind of happy that at least nowadays and on some platforms you can like label things as spoilers. Like for example, on Discord, I know you can do the spoiler thing. Um, I'm pretty sure you can do that on Reddit as well, I think, and various other platforms too. But that's just, that's rude. That's the best way, to, that's just rude. Um, I don't know who said this. These ultra hard bots just can't lose. Get yourselves ready. Here we go. 
I'm gonna kick these guys butt cheeks. Oh my god, I've been going like for two hours now. Wow, it's a... Uh... Don't use special moves. Don't use special moves? I will not. Reddit does it, so does TV tropes. Oh, excellent, that's great. Gonzalez, let me at him. Am I gonna take these punks this time? <laughs> Stink one's challenging us again. He never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrimpy partner, as if that's going to help him. Oh, you watch, my dude. It's gonna be great. Gulp. Oh my god, that was the right... Oh no. I forgot my, my key binds. I forgot what my controller binds were for this. No! Can I shrink bounce you? Nope, that's painful. That's unfortunate. Oh, I forgot. I, I didn't I didn't do it. Oh! Don't kill my boy! No, my boy! Kick it. Get the rocks out of here. Get those rocks out of here, dude. All right. Go for the real gulp this time. Nice. Hype. Ouch! You spiked me right in the... That really hurts. Our iron bodies and pointy nastiness are being used against us. No fair. Oh, dang, bro. Has he discovered our weak points? Maybe so. I don't have a healing item. I do not have a healing item. But I have Sweet Treat. I can do that. Babu Babuche Babuche became a tank. Have you ever played Among Us? And if so, have you seen the new game mode? I have played Among Us once or twice. Um, but that was about it. And I haven't seen the new game mode. Please, if you if you wouldn't mind, describe it to me. Oh no. I would love to know about it. I'm not really the I guess for the most part I'm not much of a multiplayer gamer unless I got people with me. And I usually it's something I gotta set up on my own. When people invite me to games, I'm just very, very socially anxious, so I'm like, mm. No, I don't. Oh no, why you gotta go for my boy? No, don't go for my boy! My boy! Oh, my boy. Oh, I needed him. Oh. That's, that is so disappointing. Oh, I gotta run away. I gotta run away. I gotta run away. That's so sad. Lorelai's played a few rounds, but clueless on the new mode. I'm so sad. My boy, he died. It's a hide-and-seek game mode. There's no cooldown on the kills for imposter, and the imposter turns into a monster. That sounds epic. Like like the like the lift up entire first part of body with like big teeth and tentacle tongue monster. Or like even better. I'm a big fan of like monster games. Monster games are very, very cool to me. They appeal to a particular part of my brain. Their head extends, yes. Ooh! Spicy. I mostly stick around for the Amoogus memes and stuff like that. You know, Amoogus, Among Us, the fact that you can't spell Jesus without sus. Excellent jokes out there for pretty much any occasion. Alright, can I face these guys again or am I down a rank? They hand it over. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. I don't want to do these guys again. I guess I gotta. Alright, Coops, come on out here. Frighten these dudes again. I think I, for the, I'm gonna fight and defeat those Iron Cleft dudes. And then I'm going to call it an evening. After which, we will continue back. We'll be back again. Actually, I need to double check my schedule. Am I back next Monday? Am I here next Monday? The, the, the holiday season's coming up. Christmas season's coming up. So I need to make sure. Am I here? I am. I am. I am. So, if I don't wind up getting... I'll be back next week. Probably not with Paper Mario. Probably something else. But we'll see. Going out there. Getting these dudes. Getting in the way. Whatever. Um, yes. What do you think the most used word in the Bible is? Want to know? It's come. <laughs> I love that. I learned that from a meme. Also, how easy is it to slip the Among Us design into art? Like one goof that used them as a guide for making pretty water. Pretty water. Interesting. Interesting? Interesting. Yeah. I like those little tidbits of fun fact about the Bibble. I'm not much of a religious person myself. I'm just in it for the memes. That's really all I'm in for. <laughs> Can't spell Jesus without it being a little sussy. Oh no, you guys are stronger. Oh, nice counter. Oh, nice counter. Another one? Oh, I did not get him with the counter. That's okay. I tried. I tried. I'm an atheist, says Haruto. I just find it funny. Technically speaking... I am what they call an eatsist. I-E-T-S-I-S-T. 
quite literally translates from, I believe, a Germanic language to somethingism. I can't quite deny that there is a higher being out there. Maybe I want to believe that there is one, but I'm not going to swing to one side of the fence or the other. I think colloquially it is called on the fenceism, and I'm very secure with that. If it benefits my life in some way, either through a mental thing or a spiritual thing, I'm down for it. Personally, I've taken a lot of inspiration from various different um, Buddhist teachings and stuff, which I guess technically, technically is a religion and stuff, but I find it more philosophical than all things. I believe in a heaven, says Haruto, but I don't believe in a god. I think that's totally valid. I'd like to, I'd like to believe that is so in my, in my thoughts, if there is a god out there, and I want to believe that there is one, that god is perfect in every way, shape, and form, or that perfection is split evenly amongst an infinite number of gods. Perfection, in my opinion, doesn't exist in the real world. So if there's anything that is supposed to transcend reality, it is something that is truly and utterly perfect. Now, I, as a human, can't, cons can't perceive what perfect is because, in my opinion, nothing is perfect. But that's the whole point of it. It transcends the idea of what I can interpret as a human. That would be my idea. And I'd like to believe that there's something that happens after I die or something that happens in the afterlife and stuff. Because, like, I don't like the idea that things just, like, end, you know? So I'd like to believe that there is, although I don't think there's any proof for it. It's all about a feeling, and I'm hooked on that feeling. Hooked on that feeling of relative positivity. Do you believe in the paranormal? I think I've seen ghosts before. I think I've heard random sounds. I think, for the most part, I'm pretty sure I've seen a ghost before. I was, It was like 12 or 13 years ago, so I was a child at the time. However, I want to believe, based off of that experience, I'm inclined to think that the idea of something phantasmal, ectoplasmic, or downright ethereal is not completely out of the question. There have been a lot of people in the world who seem to have call had encounters with ghosts and stuff, and just the fact that there are so many people like that makes me think like, well... Maybe there's something else going on. Maybe some sort of like quantum phenomena or something. I'd love to, I'd love to, I've always wanted to go to like a haunted house. I think it'd be really, really cool. And like stay in a haunted hotel for a night. The idea scares me, but like the logical side of me says, come on, can't be that bad. Oh, I forgot to do the thing in the battle. Darn it. Uh, my house is haunted, Sister Rudo, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Is that, is that, is that good for you or is that bad for you? Because I feel like that's, that's cool in my opinion, but I don't know how the rest of your family feels about that, let alone you. I feel like that's a that could be on either sides. All right, what do I need to do in this battle? What does don't, does Mario need to do? Here we go again. Haruto loves ghosts, but it's also scary. I get that. We can kind of be in love with things that scare us. Some of my favorite pieces of art and media out there are things that terrify the hell out of me. I love it because it gives me that. That feeling you get when your spine tingles, like frisson, when, you're, when your skin crawls, that feeling is a positive one to me. It's like, whoo, my whole body felt that. I love that kind of stuff. Laurel, I also found the water goof guide, if a link is okay. Oh yeah, feel free to pop the link. I'm cool with that. So long as it's not like pornography and stuff, I think that we're okay. For Haruda says, I've had doors open and closed by themselves. They've heard noises when they're home alone and that kind of stuff. I've, held, I've had that too in my apartment. But, like, I'm pretty sure that's just my neighbors. But who knows? I have had things randomly fall off shelves. That is a thing that happens. I blame it on myself. Take damage from the opponent three times. That's what we need to do. Three times. Um, so I will just let that happen. We will appeal, and we will let it happen. EvenlyTumblr.com. I'm going to open that up on my Surface down here, because I want to see what it's all about. There we go. I'm glad that that opens up in a new tab. Thank you, Surface, for being good for once. Oh, my gosh. Evie draws some Twitter.com thing, some Twitter.com shenanigans. Might as well post this here too. Oh my God, look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. That's great. Oh my God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show that. I'm gonna show that here for a moment. This is, this is what, this is what the, this is what the water thing is. You can kind of see each of those water things there is a Moogus. Pretty water. I love that. Is anyone here familiar with Landon? <laughs> Landon D's nuts. <laughs> hey, oh, got him. Uh, unless that wasn't supposed to be a D's nuts joke, in which case, I am sorry. That was suggestive, and I take it back. <laughs> Somebody's walking into something over here, and it won't be me. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, and either <laughs> Taruna somehow developed a thing where they can move while asleep, or they've been dragged out of their body by a ghost. 
Ooh. The idea of astral projection really, really amazed me at once upon a time. I have had cases in my life of sleep paralysis and also a state of like, like deep, deep meditation where like, I feel like I'm kind of experiencing an out of body thing, but I've never slept walk before. And I don't think I've ever, so to speak, astral projected, um, not sleepwalking, not sleepwalking. I've never had anything like that. Sleep paralysis is terrifying, um, but if, if it's welcomed, then it's okay. Um, and in a case where I had like, I've always, want, I only experienced it once. My experience of, my experience of like that deep meditation state happened once while I was still living in my fraternity house. It was like the room, like the, the sound of the rain falling outside and the sound of my music coalesced into something that I could both feel and experience all at the same time. It was really, really creepy. But it was awesome. Ha! Land on these nuts, says Crimson Bond fan. 20, 2007? 2007 was a pretty good year. How dare you break my tiny trust? Oh, and lower I wasn't sure if it was like the move well asleep since the whole better term is not necessarily uh, like a super common one. That was a good one. I'll admit, I'll admit there. Crimson Bond, personally, I have a particular relationship with the folks at work, and we are the type of individuals who make like like liquor, I hardly know her jokes or these nuts jokes on the regulars. So fortunately, this was the right. I, I am sorry that Lorelai had to be the victim here, but this was absolutely the right place to say that. Thank you. This made me chuckle. Actually, I don't know if I chuckled yet. <laughs> nice. Thank you for that. Haruto, as in like, has had a lucid dream before, and they've woken up to what has felt like being dragged, and that your legs were off the bed. Ooh. See, I think if I had an experience like that. The way that I would interpret it would be, I'm, I'm a person who moves around a lot in my sleep. So if I found, wound up like scooching myself off the bed, then I'd be like, wow, I must've been having some crazy dreams last night, but that there's something subconscious within me that is what caused that. However, whatever your experience is, is totally valid. And I, and I don't want to detract from that either. It does sound kind of creepy in a way, but also kind of, kind of cool too. That like, you know, the body moves on its own. I'm thinking of moving for real, for real, says Crimson. Oh, really? Where you think? I mean, I don't want to pry, and I don't want to like expose like personal information and stuff. But where are you thinking about going? Somewhere far away? Somewhere close by? Is it for job? Is it for pleasure? Is it for work? Don't do it! Don't go away! But why? I think moving on is a cool thing. Moving deeds nuts in your mouth? No! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Did I get that? Lorelai has had a thing where they were sleeping and moved around enough to wake up and freak themselves out. Oh yeah, totally. Like only like lifting a leg and dropping it. I'm pretty sure I've farted once upon a time, once upon a time, and woke myself up with it. Moving these nuts to your mouth. You got me. I legit thought that we were going personal for a moment here. That was good. That was a good one. Y'all like dragons? It's a these nuts joke. Here we go. here we go. Cause I'll be dragging these nuts across your face. Hey, you got him. Yo, high five. <laughs> nah, nah, that, that's fine. That's fine. I get that. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fix it for a fight? Yes, please. Uh, the armored harriers. Here we go. My God. Haruto has proven that they ate the brain cell. Ah, uh, the perks of being bisexual. Holla. Holla at that. Get off the roof, son. Let's get him. Let me enjoy pocket dragons in peace. You're, you're dragging these nuts to your pocket? I'm so sorry. I had to do it. This is the this is the air of chat right now. I I had to. All right, Babuche, come on out here, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. I had to do it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's a special. If I only have one brain cell left, that's the brain cell that's left is the one that laughs at jokes like that. For our next battle, we're bringing this guy out again, naturally. Iron Adonis twins, and we just keep on going. Look up pocket dragons and feel the shame of profaning those faces. No, wait, pocket dragons? What is a pocket dragon? I'm looking that up right now. Are those like little toys and stuff? Pocket dragons. Take a look at these guys. Pocket dragons. Those are the, po those are the dragons of the pocket. Aw, I profane those tiny little faces. Oh my god, they're so cute. Look at this thing. Oh my god, look at that thing. 
I cannot believe it. They look delicious. Haruto, I think this is plastic. But anything is edible at least once. They look like they're made of plastic. Albeit, rather colorful, kind of tasty, almost like candy. The, the figurines were the right ones. Crimson says, Did you guys know there's a secret in Minecraft that if you plant a beetroot, it becomes a stun seed? Just don't read it backwards. A stun seed. These nuts. Plastic tastes great. Nope, there's ceramic. Don't you dare. Does ceramic taste good, Haruto? I'm curious to see what your opinion is on this. I've never eaten ceramic before. I'm gonna appeal. I, I want the turn order to be like this. I have a few. We even found a fancy statue for the cheap one last in Florida. Oh my god, they're that's cool. Ceramic? Even better! Delicious! Ceramic is smooth to eat. It's also smooth to pronounce. Num num num. Oh, get him, dude. Internal bleeding is fun. You know, I was actually looking and doing research on this the other day about the man who ate a plane. I don't remember what his name was. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, none of that shit. None of that. Theory, Haru is in fact a snail. Can snails eat ceramics? That's awesome. Oh, yo, Crimson Bond fan. I got, I gotta ask, are we talking like Bond? Crimson Bond. Thank you for your follow. In, in response to this, I'm gonna put a party hat on my head. And, and then I will sing the song of my people. Ah! That was the song of my people. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it greatly. Hopefully I've earned it. Appeal! Eating calcium for the shell. Ooh, that's a snail thing. Nice! I didn't know that. I've learned something new today. I'm all about learning new things. Ceramic snail. Ceramic snail diet. Oh, y'all are dead. That was wonderful. Excuse me. Heard has been called many things. A snail is not one of them. I've never been called a snail. Do we have to go back to the bounty league now, bro? I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations, Greg Gonzalez. With this win, you made the major league. Now that, folks, was what I call a wild and wooly fight. I dig it a dang doozy, if I do say so myself. Keep it up, kid. You're going places, I can tell. Hoo-wee. Come on now, folks, give it up. We got a new major leaguer. Let's hear it for him. Ganzales. Ganzales. Go get in then, Ganzales. Note, says Lorelai, maybe ceramics don't have calcium, and perhaps we've misunderstood the eggshell. Oh my goodness. Crimson Bond has a question. What's the greeting cowboys use that starts with H? Because for the life of me, I can't remember. Howdy! Howdy. H howdy these nuts? Is, is this another these nuts jokes? I feel like I feel like that's where we're going with this, but like maybe not. And now you have, says Lorelai. Is this the pro or con about the being called a snail thing? Who knows? Who knows? Haruna's been mistaken for a female many a time. Don't know how I feel about that one though. But technically, snails are hermaphroditic, I believe. They're like both genders and neither, I think. Howdy's nut taste low. Oh my god, that's a good one. That was a good one! Oh, Mr. Grubber wishes to see you in his office. He heard that you were making D's nuts joke, and he just had to be a part of it. <laughs> hello, hello in the good name of our Lord. <laughs> Howdy! Mr. Grubber, I've brought Mr. Gonzalez as you've requested. <laughs> my, my Miss Jolene, <laughs> you mind your manners now. We knock around here, Missy. <laughs> I was, I was practicing my D's nuts repertoire. <laughs> I apologize, Mr. Grubba. I did not mean to intrude. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it, none. Now, what I want again, uh, something about Gonzalez. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, Gonzalez. What's there? What's the, what's that cow, what's that, uh, greeting that, uh, cowboys say to each other that starts with the letter H? Oh, I believe it. that would be a, a howdy, Mr. Grubba. How these nuts taste, Mario? <laughs> Hoo wee! I got you with that one, you little scrub. You lovely little piece of. Love that. Gonz Gonzalez, you were old so and so. Let me congratulate you, son. Major League already, huh? And still falling for these nuts jokes. You've got a long way to go, my friend. I had a feeling you were going places, and dang, I love it when I'm right. You just keep on putting tuxes in them seats. Counting on you, son. Seriously. I got a special little something something for you. Go on. Take it. This one's all yours. 
So yeah, something else has been on my mind. Uh, your costume just ain't cool, man. Uh, no big deal, son. But hey, someday if you become champ, I'll get you a new one. Uh, something hot pink, maybe, with some frills or something. Maybe a couple of tassels and whatnot. A cowboy hat, something with a big old star on the front of it. You know, you've been collecting those star things. I've done my research. I think you look pretty snazzy in it. Anyway, that's something for another day, Par. Take a powder, okay? Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me if you would. Please just stop undressing me with your eyes. It's kind of weird. Oh, goodness gracious. Land snails, according to Lorelei, sneeze snails do have defined sexes. Oh, interesting. Snails are weird. Recently, Haruto homebrewed their DS, and it was the best thing that you've ever done. Ooh, like kind of hacked it and like jailbroke it, so to speak. I had a friend of mine in college who would do that for people and get paid for it. Seemed like a pretty good business. Very cool, Lorelai. I said he was being a mad you made a magical girl. Pink and frilly, you sir, Mr. Mr. Cube. Mr. Cube, aka Mr. Grubber. I'm gonna make you a magical girl if I ever don't seen it myself. You are gonna be so damn pretty, and those scene transistors are gonna be mwah, downright sexy. This is the major Oh wait a minute, it's This is the Major League locker room. You will use this room from this moment on. The match system is the same as the minor league, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Okay, Mr. Gonzalez. I'm sure Mr. Grubber would love to see it, but me, I'm all business. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going now. Peace on out of there. Yeah, Haruto Jail broke it. Ended up getting just a ton of games for free. That's the best thing that you could possibly do. I, I used to feel bad about jailbreaking things like that, but Nintendo is, you you might be able to hint onto my political views here, but Nintendo, like a lot of other companies, are giant corporations, and if you jailbreak one of their devices, I don't think there's anything ethically or morally wrong with that. It's just how it'd be. What's the deal? Would it kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh. Oh my God, it's the man himself. Studly guy coming on through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. <laughs> oh, it's you. It's you, isn't it? <laughs> you fit the bill, skinny. A mustache named Gonzalez. A man, I came all the way over here for you. <laughs> what a waste of time. Oh. Hey. What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Oh, <laughs> the champ's bill. What in the- Hey, you, get too close to the hawk, and you might get rocked. I'm not sure what's wrong with this dude, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. It's fake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, you think you can just smack talk the rock hawk? I don't think so. You got some guts calling my belt a fake, you shrimpy. No belt having wimps. You, you're babies. You're downright stickerheads. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big bad belt there, little baby boy. Stop making fun of me, punk! You're alive only because of me in the ring right now. Otherwise, I'd pinch you with my with my beak. If I see one of those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember. <laughs> Yeah, go get him, bud. You just walk away then. <laughs> wow, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? <laughs> mm. Well, forget him. We got a problem. You're not pointing to Glitzville, right? I love how you already have all of this context there. <laughs> what was your name again? Something. Babuche? Babuche. 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 That was it. That dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it. Then where the heck is the real one at? I don't know. Maybe it's with Grubba. <laughs> Gonzales, was that your mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get that email from? My mother. If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions. From X. Who the heck is this X dude? He talks like he's the man to see about the crystal star. Why would he want to help us out though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. Know what I'm saying? Excellent best price for that DS there. And I, uh, says Haruto, Nintendo made some weird as fuck games on Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story. Literally, it's Vor. Babuche! Nintendo is weird. Dude, all the, some of the Switch games that I see now are like, I don't even know if this stuff is even considered child friendly at this point. It's just, it's just kind of weird. Um, all right. So this is my plan. 
I am gonna find a save spot. I'm gonna pop a big old save here, and I'm gonna lend things off for the evening because this was an absolutely wonderful time. Uh, I do gotta get myself some sleep. Again, things have been a little crazy recently um, with the, with the 24 hour stream thing and some crazy stuff happening at work and whatnot. I gotta make sure I catch up on the rest that I definitely lost over the weekend. Um, this is actually a pretty longer stream than usual, so it'll be great. Well, see you, dude. Oh, absolutely. I just gotta make sure I pop the save over here and then I do a little, here we go. Thank you, everybody, so much for coming along to my stream over here. A special welcome to both Crimson Bond fan, a fond, a, a fond fan of these nuts jokes, a person after my own heart, and Haruto, who eats ceramic, but like the rest of us. I mean, there's we also eat ceramic around here um, when the time calls for it. I have this Allen wrench that has just been calling my name. Um, it's in the snacks section of the stream, so we'll see what winds up happening. To everybody out there, I really appreciate everybody's presence around here. Glad Thankfus has been going well. Indeed, sir. No, I'm not actually eating the Allen wrench. Not yet, at least, but we'll see what winds up happening there. This has been wonderful. Taking a moment just to cool myself down. I talk way too much during these things. In any case, this is the time of the stream where we wind down a little bit, and we just say our goodbyes until next time. To everybody out there, Haruda's gonna save up for extreme consumption so we can eat it. Ooh, my goodness. To everybody out there, if, depending on what time zone you're in, I know we are all in multiple. The moon is shining where I am, so I will say goodnight to everybody. But if the sun is shining where you are, may you have a wonderful rest of your morning. Perhaps it's the twilight, perhaps it's the midnight, perhaps it's the noon. Wherever time it may be for y'all, the party will continue next time. Peace out until then, y'all.